Uh, game. <laughs> Fuck it up. What? <laughs> Nobody told me Dawn Tail was a goddamn jump scare. Oh my god. But yo, this title screen is a breath of fresh air. Oh no, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. <laughs> yo, the colors. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Oh my god, that is so... Oh, wow. It's so sparkly, it's so pretty, and the title... Oh my god. I, the black screen, and then just the... Burn! <laughs> oh my god. Did not expect that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn. No, she pretty. She, she a pretty half car. And here I am, a fucking normal white guy. <laughs> I play in a fantasy game where I can be anything I want to be, but I'd be a normal fucking white guy. What the fuck's wrong? Ah! <laughs> Yo! Yeah! <laughs> Yo, whom's needs Dawn Trail right now? Who needs Wook Lamar? <laughs> I'm okay, I need Luke Lamar. I'm a queen! Queen! But why are we charming Blossom running? With, with Blossom, look at them go! <laughs> I've never felt so pretty. Yo, the way that moves up as well. Look at you jumping it. And that's so good. That's such a nice detail. That's that's such a nice detail. Yo, what happens if I... Does it... Does it... <laughs> no, it's... Uh... Whoa, the swoop and it goes up! Oh my god, you swoop the fan and it goes up! Wow! Alright, let's get down into it. Let's begin our journey in Dawn Trail! A new world to goddamn explore. We're gonna get all the maps. Dora's gonna be jealous of all of our maps. But it begins by the only way possible, and that's talking to Ajika. So, let's, let's do it. A new world to explore has a message for you. Let's get cozy. We gotta go do a little lot of reading tonight. I don't have work tomorrow, so you know we're gonna get sued in and booted for a few hours. So get comfy. Welcome back, Lord. I've just had a word from Erinvel. It seems he managed to secure passage to Terrell aboard a girl ship vessel. Why don't you wait in the main hall while I go and inform your travel companions? It should only take a moment. Cheers, Ajika. Yo, it only just dawned on me that they're gonna get new sounds for all this shit, too. <laughs> it only just dawned on me that we're gonna get all different... Oh, the, the fucking quest activation music and everything. Ah, oh, Dawned. <laughs> that wasn't on purpose, either. I'm gonna see how many times that comes through now. <laughs> well, that's the way. Let's get on this vessel. Let's make our way to Terrell, huh? Or Toral? Is it Toral? I think it might be Toral. But it might be Toral. We'll see. We'll see what they say. We shall see. Toggle! Yep. I'll take Toggle. <laughs> Just a happy man staring at the wall. <laughs> well, enjoying his little map. He's looking forward to his new adventure there. You unlocked your map, buddy. Hello! Oh. Oh, yeah, there's, uh, there was the auto advance thing for not work with envoys. How do I do? Yes! <laughs> yes! Beautiful. Oh, my God. This is the best fucking feature. Now I'm going to want to read, and when it's voiced, it just goes. Oh, because, you know, so many games will just auto-advance and you'll slip between voice dialogue and non-voice in the same goddamn scene and brrr. So, confirm. Yeah. Beautiful. Goddamn. Ojika gave us the good news. Uh, we made ready to set sail at a moment's notice. The only one yet to arrive is Aaron Vell himself. Yo, where's our boy? Aaron! Are you Aaron? Aaron, the queen! The queen arrives! Ah, you're all here. 
It took some persuasion, but the cleaner's guilt ship has granted us places aboard a vessel bound for Terrell. There'll be other passengers, researchers and artisans and the like, so we need to share de a desk space. That's fine, Aravel. I thought anyone expected we'd have a ship all to ourselves. Why not? I thought we would. <laughs> They're not casting off just yet, so if you have any lingering concerns, now is the time to voice them. I wouldn't call it a concern, but everyone's still clear on what it is we'll be doing in Terrell, yes? Your face looks different. You got eye bags! Right? Did you always have eye bags? Are you just tired now? Your face looks different. <laughs> They're doing a lot of work on the eyes. I could. There's a lot of life in between the eyes there. A lot of eyes. There's this one. He's just tired. <laughs> <laughs> Boy's gotten tired. Yeah. Love it. Love it. <laughs> We've not forgotten. The nation of Toyal is the midst of deciding its next ruler. As your chosen allies, we shall assist you during the rites of succession and, abort and support your bid to become Dawn's servant. In addition to that, Alpha now and I have another objective. Her cheeks seem a little bit blushier. That might be just because of where she is, but they look kind of pinker. Only slightly. Only slightly, but again, it might just be that, that uh, angle of light in there, but they look kind of pinker. As part of its reconstruction, Garmold seeks ways to reconcile and re-engage with its neighbors. By visiting Terrell, we hope to learn more about how its myriad cultures interact with one another. How they find common ground, develop stronger ties. The sort of insights that might help our friends in Elzebeth. Still thinking about them. That's our, that's, our, that's, that's our twins right there. But we'll pursue this goal in our own time. You can be assured that we'll give the contest all your attention. Oh, you got eye bags too! <laughs> the twins are just tired. The twins are just tired. I bet Oriange and Fanku are going to have the smoothest fucking thing of all time. It looks kind of thing. Well, yeah, the faces. They've done some work on the faces. It's going to take a little bit to get used to, but they look nice. And the eye detail, like the, the eyelashes, the eyes themselves, it looks, it looks really good. That's all I ask. Otherwise, you're welcome to do as you like. You wanted to find out about your, about your grandfather, right, Kryle? Yes, as far as we could determine from the old missive I found, he had been tasked with investigating the Golden City by your father, the Dawn Servant. Yet, oddly enough, we have no record of that investigation in our archives, and nothing to explain the earring which accompanied the letter. Thus, for reasons both official and personal, I should very much like to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'm sure there'll be a chance to speak with Papa. You can get your answers right from the source. I look forward to meeting him. In any case, you're not the only one with an interest in the City of Gold. He's so shiny! <laughs> the Golden City is a children's bedtime story. I am part in this expedition only because the Third Promise has commanded that I serve as a guide. Still paying the part of the Sodic Servant, I see. <laughs> what of you? Don't you dare tell me you've changed your mind. <laughs> I'm first on that ship. I stand and let the wind take us as she pleases. We won't make you dawn, Servant, by standing here and talking about it. I go where so of adventure is to be found. I stand and let the wind take her. Yeah! Brad, you're looking fucking weird, dude. <laughs> That's sad. We won't get far foot wallowing in the shallows. Alright then, if all are still committed to the journey, then I say we make ready to depart. I know the music here isn't going to be loud anyway, but is it sounding slightly too quiet or is it okay? I know like in this, but it's not exactly going to be loud, but like, does it need a little bit of a boost? Does it, do we need a little bit of a boost audio wise or are we good out here? Little quiet. We'll get it where. Kill, no worries. We will do that. Some f Thing is now it's like loud here, like a bit louder. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, what is this? Choose your volume. Like, choose your volume, game. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Eden. I mean, perfect time to go for a. Uh, I mean, it's fine. This is just British weather, so. <laughs> Eager as they are, the others have already left for the harbor. We're not in danger of missing the boarding call, but perhaps we should be on our way as well. I will follow you anywhere, Eren. I will follow you to the depths of Mordor. I will follow you for Walmart. I will follow you through the Black Friday. <laughs> I will follow you through it all. Oh! 
My first look of sunlight! My first look of sunlight! Rosie! Oh, how you doing, Rosie? Thank you again for the raid, Rosie. How you do? How you do? How you do? We just started the Dawn Trail journey. How was the stream? What was you up to? Was it the new patch? Was it the new stuff? I can feel your excitement, your eagerness to explore the unknown. I'm ready, Woo! These visuals are looking well, good. I'm ready. Once, the fate of the world doesn't rest on our shoulders. We might even get a chance to enjoy ourselves. We best do. I'm ready for a cozy fun time in Zorel. Do not be so quick to relax. What's up, Quantum? What's up, Rosie? Thank you for coming by for Rosie's stream. Hope you had a good time. Sail away on a map. The vast seas between brim with peril. The treacherous waters of Shade's Triangle alone have claimed countless vessels. Even following the safe route plotted by Admiral Boothiswin herself. This will be no pleasure cruise. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll have a good time. Perhaps, but my voyage here was uneventful enough. Disappointingly so. Oh my god, the sunlight. Way, the, the two of you have first hand experience. It visually looks so pretty. Great comfort in the days ahead, I'm sure. We just gotta get past the dangerous, like, shark cruise and, like, we could. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing new to us. All aboard! We're casting off! It's time. I trust you have everything you need? I think so. Yo, she's already part of the squad! She's doing the... She's already in it! She's already in it! Let's go! And so does our ship cast off from the docks. Yo, we're getting the whole waving off, sir. As Catendran did some 80 years past, bound for the new world, known to her children as the continent of Toral. Yo, she's going to the top of that as well. What a queen. What a queen. I stand. Look at the abs. Contest is said and done, it'll be your daughter who sits the throne. Me, Wokla Mat. Yeah! <laughs> well, yeah, I gotta take a back seat. God, the, 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 uh, the sunlight in it's so clean, it's so smooth. Like the lighting knows where it wants to shine. That was kind of like the issue before, it didn't know where it wanted to shine. Well, let's go. Let's start this journey to get him walk on top of that goddamn throne. The colors as well. <laughs> as he does. As they do. Is that Glenn from Final Fantasy VII? <laughs> Smooth sailing so far. Aye, so far so good. Yo, the auto events just for voice. <laughs> It's amazing! The auto events ah, just is amazing! Blowing a gale the next. I'll take my rest while I can. <laughs> I vibe. Damn, what's good? Get those summer holiday glams ready? Absolutely. I mean, I've got to arrive before I get all glamoury. My dude's still depressed on Endwalker. I'll see if I can turn up the voice and sound settings. Rosie, thank you again for the raid. Super appreciate it. Have a good sleep. I hope you're enjoying the new raid series, and thank you again. Speaking of which, some of our fellow 
your passengers have made this trip before. Several times, in fact. I was able to learn a few things about Tuliolal and the right of succession. Since we still have a long way to go, why not have a chat with them yourself? I'm I get sure to walk on the boat? Of your own. Do I get to walk on the boat? Do, do I get to walk on the boat? Personally? Oh, the vibes are immaculate with this music. How to cross these same waters, grandfather. It is, man. It's such a vibe. Oh, I can get to walk on the boat as well. All right. That's awesome. I get to walk on the boat. All right, let me turn that up. See, voice is all the way up, but it's like so quiet. So what I'm gonna do, let's put that to 70. Free. Apply those. And then what I'll do is go to my volume mixer. And hopefully this will be okay. We'll see how this does. But moon that and we sound. Pretty good. Whoa, that's good. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Ah! <laughs> deep breaths. <laughs> Yo! Yo, can I go to the edge? Yeah, that's fucking sick. That's awesome. <laughs> Look at it go. That is beautiful. Look at this thing right here. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this. I am on a goddamn journey. Look at us go. <laughs> yeah. I will definitely be taking a photo there. Oh, man. The water as well. Oh, my God. It's so good. I'm so happy. <laughs> hey, crowd. What's good? Have you spoken about shipmates? Terrell is still a good distance away, and it might be a pleasant way to pass the time. I'm on it! I'm on it. But first, the squad. I can feel my edge start at Dylan those long seas voyages. How about some light sparring later? <laughs> Damn, I'm getting bored on this cruise. Let's throw some hands, Lord Brad. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm, fe I'm feeling an itch for some stabbing. Okay, let's say, please be gentle. I'm told this vessel has been equipped with a barrier generator to protect it from storms. A reassuring thought, though I nevertheless pray there will be no need for it. <laughs> yeah, sure, no need for storms. Look, anything about bolts in Final Fantasy tells me it don't go well. Did you want to make a wager? We're taking bets on who'll be sat next in the Dawn 7's shiny chair. There are four cl claimants in the right of succession. Your young Wilt Lamart being one of them, of course. But from what a Mamul Jab bloke was telling us, the other three are all strong contenders. Not too many keener risk their coin on the third promise. Okay. Strong contenders across the board. Yo, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's just takes you to Shall Lane. I thought we could go like to the, the I don't know bolt terms, but that part, that section. That area. I thought we could have gone into there, but no. No. Is it called a stern? I don't know. I just knew I just know poop deck. An adventure, I presume? I'm a merchant myself, based in Ulda. Specialty imports and exports, Eorzean and Torali both. If this is your first crossing the salt, as they say, do remember that the social moors of Eorzea are not necessarily the same as those over yonder. Oh, uh, why? Did they, did they not accept nodding of heads? <laughs> Consider this. It is not uncommon for the various races to be referred to instead by the names of certain clans. For the Mikolte, the Hetsado. Okay, Mikolte Hatsaro. The Hofgar is the Zabral, maybe? Zabral? Bro? Not because every member of a given clan is of the same race, mind, but because many individuals of said race was associated with that clan. A fair assumption in certain cases, but take care not to give offense. Uh, I'll, I'll try. 
That's uh, just fine. We don't speak anyway. Fun Gene Tine. The green streak? Yo, you got some. Hold on, the green streak? The eye. The. The dark eyes? Yo, what emo band were you listening to? <laughs> what? Come on. What, what, what's the band? Hmm? Oh, this will be my first visit to Terrell. Forging's the. Forging Tine's the name. I was working at Ashtame's Ech Aesthetics in Uldal, you see, but my employment with them, um, came to an end. That's why I visited Charlayan, in the hopes of starting over. While I was attempting, and failing, to find a new job, they get it. I seized the chance to board this vessel when I overheard room for another passenger had suddenly opened up. Once suddenly opened up. I'm told the Dawn Servant welcomed all regardless of origin, and so totally all it seemed like the perfect place to begin anew. Oh, hopefully things will be better this time. I wish you luck, brother. I mean, moving to a whole new place because the job market ass is very relatable. <laughs> you can do it. Move to a whole goddamn new... Move overseas. Because of that goddamn job market. The Burly Boys. My story? Well, since you asked, I wanted to retrace the historic journey of the Great Kentaram. You know, the first the Orzian to set foot on Terrell, almost 80 years ago. The Mammal Jar's leader is said to have welcomed Ketaram with open arms, and sent him home with a bounty of silverware as a token of their friendship. But the real treasure was the crops he brought back. Pobotos, tomatoes, and corn. <laughs> we spread across the Orzia like wildfire. His grand adventure led to a culinary revolution. I mean, this was mentioned in the books, wasn't it? The whole food stuff. I believe this was mentioned in the books. The tales say Kentaram returned to Terrell several times after that, but his ship vanished during his, during his last recorded voyage, and he was never heard from again. That even a seasoned explorer like him could meet such an end is testimony to the ocean's peril. Yeah, the ocean's a bitch, so... Have you updated voice Yes, I have! I have, and I love it, and it's beautiful. It's amazing. So uh, Autovans is always on now, and the voices will just voice, and the text will just text, and it's a beautiful experience. It's incredible. I see you knew I was here before. You great and famous hero. Gah, I've had enough of paying the simpleton. <laughs> There's a time when we took great pains to maintain the deception, but with more of your Eorzeans coming to Terrell, it's becoming practical. <laughs> Man, sick of us. <laughs> Besides, my mercenary days are over. Damn, it is very romantic. I appreciate the follow. Too many of our warband has fallen, and so we head home to lick our wounds. Ah, <laughs> oh. man, I'm feeling kind of out of color here. Maybe, maybe purple ain't the drip. Well, we will see. Like I said, it will the uh, glamour uh, uh, as summer drip will change as we get into the expansion, as we uh, see what we can get, see what we want to mix them out. I, I haven't even decided on a color scheme, but uh. That we, there will definitely be one. <laughs> For sure. For absolute sure. Did you learn anything of interest? Oh, I hadn't heard that about the clan names. We should have Wilk Lamont and Aravel teach us the ones we should know. Actually, it's getting a little chilly. CHILLY?! I, I wish you luck in the UK. I wish you luck in the UK, Kyle. <laughs> Let's all gather in the cabin. She's got no eyes. Not an iron blood. Just low iron. Ice blood. I mean, I assume there's some heavy wind going on, but you see those sun rays? Oh, okay, right, never mind. <laughs> so what that dude say about storms? It has come to pass. Oh. We're in for a proper storm, it seems. <sighs> oh. I... How's your stomach any better? Well, we've lost I one already. Know what you mean? I don't get seasick. <laughs> I'm just feeling 
A little nauseous is all. Isn't that what seasickness is? No! <laughs> it, it, it's not that. Erinville, you were born in Tyral, yes? Do many of you ever live there? The Shetona, as my people are called, have settlements mainly in the north. In Shaktural. Shaktural. And your family? I know nothing of my father. Not even his name. As for my mother... She dead. <gasps> Whoa! You don't mess with the ocean. Oh dear. <laughs> that dude ate it. That dude just ate it. <laughs> Quickly, help! Run! <laughs> All right, Dave, appreciate the follow. Appreciate you coming by. Enjoy your sleep. And I'll see you when I see you. Have a good night. Run! <laughs> oh. Best VA in the business. I have not seen the ocean rage with such fury before or since. Y'all the lightning flash? The heaving waves tossed our ship about like a toy. Well sailors tumbling. Ah! Oh, I was saying the savior. Quick to the rescue was all lost to the sea. No! Yo, my man's. What? Meanwhile, our champion rushed to deploy the vessel's magical defenses and thereby shield us from the lightning. Yo, what are you doing, buddy? Fair play! What an extraordinary life he must lead to be able to operate such a device with practiced ease. Oh yeah, I'm with that dude. With that dude. Yo, this is so cool! The flashes with the... Voklama, too, threw oh. herself into the rescue efforts. Though one might have mistaken her for another soul in distress. <laughs> hey, I, I respect the hustle. She's not, you know, she's, uh... She like, doesn't exactly do well in a boat, and she's still, and she's still trying to help. I respect the hustle. By the time the unruly seas had calmed, our strength was all but spent, and we had yet to even glimpse the shores of Tural. In retrospect, of course, that battle against the storm would prove a fitting prelude. To the coming contest for the throne. Okay. Oh god. Poor dude having a swab up. Yo, this is anime as fuck. It's just a guy sitting down with light rays everywhere. <laughs> it's depressed anime as fuck. The lighting, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna scream lighting a lot. I, I can see it. I'm, I'm just gonna be like, oh my, there's lighting, there's lighting, there's lighting, there's lighting. Oh my god, there's lighting. I, ah. Oh. Fine, I'm coming. <laughs> Can't even sleep for two seconds on this boat. Yo, look at the- Oh my god! I am lit! <laughs> I'm walking into- Whoa! Yo, you know it's a good time when you're gonna see a bird. I'm just saying, you know it's a good time. I'm saying that not many people went overboard. You know, respects to those who did. 
morning. Joining us for some fresh air? Seems my belly has settled along with the weather, but... I'll feel much better once we're on solid ground. Ugh. Can't be much farther now, can it? I think you gotta take those sleeping pills, Wilk. It's exactly what he said just there. <laughs> you gotta Super. take those. Oh. Land must be near. You need only hold out a while longer. For a dark moment, I thought the ocean might swallow us. Glad to have my pessimism proven wrong. In other good news, I examined the sailor who took a fall, and he's faring well. I'm sure he'll make a full recovery. The R guy survived! Good news indeed. If all's well, then we needn't delay in launching the landing boat. Ships have to lower anchors some way from shore. Too close, and they risk having their underbellies ripped open by the reefs that crowd Toliolan's coasts. Come. I remember that. Dude, the water, dude. Oh my god. It's just water and I'm losing my damn mind. Thanks for bringing us all this way. Ha, we only did what we were paid to do. Couldn't hardly set you adrift halfway. If anything, it should be us thanking you for helping us through that beast of a storm. It was a redhead lot fell over there. As a matter of fact, everyone started to fancy your chances in the contest. <laughs> At this rate, we won't be able to lay wagers no more. <laughs> then I better not let you down. Uh oh. <laughs> Easy stomach. Easy. You good? We're the last to board. If there's nothing left to say, then let's shove off, shall we? Everyone's skin looks so good. There we go, there's our nod. We we're, we're moving. Bro, I want to put my head in that water! I want to go in and I want to swim! I want to go in there! You know what I'm saying? Blue seas, clear skies, and boundless possibilities. I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Enjoying yourself for a change? It is the trailer. This is crazy. This is mad. Yeah! I'm f I get to rest! I look like an evil Behind bastard. The scene of our next great adventure. Ah! At last, the land, the land, the land, the world, the land, to my home. To <laughs> yeah, she's so queen. She's so queen. Oh my god! There it is. There it is! Your title screen! Yes! Title screen! Dawn Trail! We are in! That was awesome! That was awesome! <laughs> that was so good! That was amazing! Wow! That was one way to showcase! Oh, yeah! We in! We in! Yeah, you like jazz? Yo, I, I need I need the playlist on Spotify now.
Yo, the colors, the outfits. There's my X. There's my Final Fantasy X representation. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There's my tender representation. Gods. I've seen cities with an impressive mix of cultures, but this is something else. Is that a... No. I've never seen Varnu feathers in that color before. You'll find much here you never knew existed. There may be a sea route now, but... Visitors to Tulihyola are still few and far between. Your Crestaria may be my home. Well, this may and be my second house. We don't build seafaring ships. Only a handful of Turali ever venture abroad. So very secretive. Got it. Mamultia sells swords mostly. Those willing to play the fool sail with Lominsan merchants to secure employment in Eorzea. I suppose that makes us a rare sight in your country. Rare and currently undocumented. <laughs> Were there some forms we should fill out or? <laughs> Please, he needs the forms. I can't get up without the forms. forms? <laughs> you forget who you're traveling with. <laughs> she doesn't know what to do without forms. She doesn't know how to operate. Oh. Whoa, mustache. You are outsiders? Visitors to Turan? Yo, this drip is crazy. That drip is crazy. Our nation is soon to hold a right of succession to choose its next dawn servant. We will not abide interference from foreign agents seeking to foment trouble. What brings you to Tuli Yolal? I'm here as a party member. I can answer that. These fine people are allies in my succession bid. She pulled me in a gotcha system. I'm here to help her out in her in her main story. Third promise. If you vouch for them, then all is well. Of course. Uh, please accept our apologies. It's easy to forget the big deal that Wutlamad is. No need to bow and scrape. That our soldiers are so diligent in their duties fills me with pride. Seem a lot more expressive. We'll be continuing our patrol then. Parrots! That's what the color scheme reminds me of. Parrots! Well, well. <laughs> you really are a figure of authority here. Are you suggesting I don't look the part? No. Anyway, first things first. I was like, what do they remind me of? The red and the green? Parrots! I bid you welcome to Tuli Hyolal. Yo, I like this place. No flying meteors? No, all right. The jazz theme is incredible. <laughs> oh, and it goes on and on, which only tells me there's probably a night theme as well. There is probably a night theme as well. And, uh, I'm a. I need to find that one too. The ship just anchored offshore. Oh. How long to wait then? Oh. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What? 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 The ghosts? <laughs> is my is my goddamn distance that low? God damn! It must be that. Low. I can still see whatever that is over there. There might be a player though. These guys, these guys, these are fading in and out. According to Erinvel, the Vanu I thought I saw belongs to the clan known as the Hanahanu. It seems they share more than physical resemblance. 
What an amazing city! As lively as Uldar, and even more colorful! Uldar's colorful? We ain't been in the same goddamn Uldar. About 10 minutes till night theme? Ah, oh. uh, it's so nice to feel that familiar breeze again. I wasn't sure my stomach would make it. I wonder what kind of trouble those soldiers are expecting. All of it. Well, despite the storm's effort to the contrary, here we are, safe and sound. Yeah! I can get used to that. <laughs> You've arrived in Tulliolal! You can return to the city at any time by speaking by the sailor in the Scholar's Harbor in the Old Chalene. Very nice. Damn, look at that. Back to leveling up once again. Once again. This place is good. I'm feeling an FPS drop when I do turn in this place though, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, like I am, I'm only touching just above 60, so I might have to play it with some stuff, but it's okay for now. Oh, we get our first weapon coffer too. While being on solid ground has improved Wook Lamont's mood, her stomach appears to be lagging behind. <laughs> Yo, do we get the feast? Do we get to see my HD food? Let's get it. Let's get it. Right then, first things first. <laughs> oh yeah, still a bit queasy. No more balls for a while. I realize we just arrived, but we should get you familiar with the city before the right of succession begins. See uh, some islands in the back of there as well. Some more docks to Bikini Bottom. No arguments here. I should very much like to explore. Then I'll guide you. <laughs> Are you sure you're in any condition to do so? Yeah, definitely parrots. Aha! We were wondering when these strange folk, who these strange folk were. So the third promise has found herself some new followers then. Yeah. Oh, followers? <laughs> he does not. Vuglamat, are you unwell? No, she's alright. <laughs> Just hungry. No, no, not at all. Couldn't be better. The third promise does not get seasick. No, sir. That's why I handpicked an entourage here. I've recruited them to help me win the right to succession. I was about to show them around the city, in fact. That sounds lovely. But a group of foreigners is going to attract attention, especially if they're in the company of the third promise. Everyone will be curious. We certainly were. Your siblings have a tendency to, uh, command a respectful distance. For you, you're just so easy to approach. <laughs> and I enjoy as much as so much when you do. Please don't ever worry that you're a brother to me. Aww. You're very kind. Good day to you, Third Promise. They did have a point. Google Mart is technically royalty here. Like it or not, a person of a station surrounded by this many outsiders is bound to draw a crowd. Wait, what do you mean, technically? <laughs> I suggest we move in two groups. <laughs> Ignored. Just, no, don't worry about it. To attract less attention. Just technically ignoring me, then. Lord, even crowd can come with me. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. The important characters go this way. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, you guys are great too, but that is a funny split right there. I'll take the twins then. We'll get in touch once we've had a good look around. That voyage was hard on all of us, so take it slow and recuperate. We have time enough for that. Enjoy your wandering. Uh, cheers, Aaron. I shall enjoy wandering this place. I can't, I'm, I'm looking forward to look around each corner and see what's going on in here. And I see the night is slowly coming upon us. Perhaps we should wait a bit, at least until Wootlamart's nausea subsides. And where's my forms? <laughs> I can't move for this spot without forms. No need for that. Look, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I don't think she's good to go. I, 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 I don't think she's good to go. I think she's quite the opposite of good to go. Oh. It's getting slightly darker. 
I'm fine now, really. Can't stand around all day feeling sorry for myself. What with the contest looming and all. Now then, seeing as we're already here, I might as well tell you about the harbour. Erenvel already mentioned the reefs in our coastal waters, which explains why you don't see any big ships moored at the docks. Only vessels with shallow drafts can navigate the bay. Getting lost in this damn jazz. Mostly small fishing boats or barges freighting cargo up and down the rivers from inland settlements. Kahaku! You shall feel free to collapse into the stream. All port as well, and I I'm gonna Happy raid day. <laughs> happy patch day. You was nap, don't blame you. I took a map earlier too. A map? I took a nap earlier too. I needed to. I was like, look, I'm probably gonna have to read a lot today. I need a nap to get with it. So I do not blame you. Today was one of those nap days for sure. Ah. Much of the incoming traffic is from a Yacht Terrell, the southern landmass. The clans there produce various goods for export. The wares are unloaded here and carted off to the merchant stalls in the neighboring markets. Speaking of which, Bayside Baby should be our next stop. Yeah! Beautiful! Yeah, yeah, conversation points. Yeah, okay, that's staying. Very nice. Oh, it's getting darker. It, it, it's getting there. Is it activated? Is it? Yeah. So y'all straight to the coffee, straight to the cafe. Take me to that fucking. Even if I'm not a big fucking fan of persona, take me to that cafe right now. God damn. Whew. Beautiful. Nutrients, go eat your nutrients, enjoy. Uh, let's see what's going on around here. Honestly, I think I'm gonna have to make some changes. Settings wise, maybe I'm just bouncing round 60, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Oh, conversation point there. These are gonna assume these are the merchants and all that stuff. Good, sp good space to craft. Oh! Uh, did I miss any? I don't even know if, if I'm gonna tune yet, but. Don't want to forget to a tune. This is Bayside Bevy, Tuliala's largest marketplace. Being right in the harbor, everything from fresh fish to imported wares go directly to the shelves. Anything you want, they most likely have. Oh right, I should mention that here in Toriel we buy things with Pell. I can't see that the people who created. Pell. But don't worry, more and more trade is coming in from Eorzea, so most shops are happy to accept your girl. There's also Wakumeji What? <laughs> There's Waka Waka. Wa wa waka wa wa That wa Wakumiki Miki I feel like it's Wakumiki Miki. Another market to the east of here. That can wait for another time. I have other places I want to show you first. Next, we'll head back a bit. Then northwards up to the stairs to a certain plaza. Hey, <laughs> I can't wait to see the look in your faces. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my, my face is already dropping. Why, yo, why, yo, this look, is this another? It's another important poll, I think. The poll is almighty! <laughs> <laughs> well, we found the popular poll of fucking Terrell, then. Goddamn, old fucking Tori Olo. The popular ball lives on. Yep, traders, repairs, all there. We got all those docks there too. Oh. Oh, is that just the summoning? But <laughs> I thought that was just a really popular ball. Like, oh, I found it. Oh, I found Joel's hunt board. How many times you been there yet? <laughs> what is the Wii Sports Trainer doing here? <laughs> very, very summer though. I'll take it. And number, it's good morning. 
That's that. I, I, at this point, I see horn boards, I think of y'all. So. What do you think of that, eh? Goodness me, you have etherites in Turley Hall? Yeah. I think I told you before, but my brother, Kwan, has spent three years studying in Charlayan. He fell in love with the nature and its ways, and brought back to us the knowledge of etherite construction. Papa wanted the idea at once, had one built immediately. <laughs> yeah, we love goods and we love we love etherites. We love that shit. Uh-huh. We breathe it. Did you do the tuning thing? <laughs> if you're ready to continue, we'll head down again and turn up the slope to the side. Right at the top is the gate, which leads to Yakterel. Let's make a stop at Bright Bloom Pulse on the way. Oh, that's a headquarters for the Lands Guard. Well, I will definitely attune. Yeah! First attunement of Dawn Trail. There's some crazy glams going around, though. Crazy glams going around. There we go. First one complete. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Where to now? Oh, we got a conversation point over there. That's fine. We shall make our way towards. It's such an undeniable vibe. What's this joint? Can't open it! I'm blocked out! Alright, didn't have to go up here. That's fine. Whee! Oh? Was that just a big... conversation? Okay, it's just a square one. I was like, what is this rainbow blue square steps going on here? Fuck you, moon! <laughs> Sick of your ass. Nice stars, though. Nice stars. We have a lot of narrow, windering streets that crawl up the sides of the mountain. As you can see, though, the builders made sure the city's main thoroughfares were wide enough to accommodate wagons. Wagons! Let's build some more wagons. That's what I'm in the mood to do. Trudging up and down all these slopes and stairs is exhausting. I understand now where Wook Lamont gets her endless endurance. I mean, to be fair, running up and down here Rocky style would be... would get you a hell of a... Yeah, we definitely got those abs. I didn't see it. I was supposed to go this way. I was just heading towards that. Any other... marks? No. I mean, it would have been very, um... anticlimactic if we arrived here and it was, like, raining and thundering. Like we arrived. Oh my god, yeah, look at this pretty place. Boom! You know? Just rain, thunder, fog. All the weather debuffs. Just, oh yes, this place is very nice. It reminds me so much of Crystallion where it always walking rains. Oh well. That's big. Being the first couple of zone. Did you get that? Don't tell me you actually got that. No way. Oh, yeah, this one. Ah, grass! <laughs> yeah! Love it. Give me this. It was raining? Oh, man, that is... That's rough. What was it, though? Okay. Was zone five. God. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got a bro down here? You wish it's green fobs starts when you was prepared. It's mad, man. I can't imagine just the cutscenes being like, oh, it's so pretty here, oh my god. And then the Mouse like, you must love it here. It's so good. Oh my god. And it's just psh. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Damn, yo, they're locking eyes. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. They're locking it. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> Love that. Love that. So this is the first few hours of Dawn Trail, no screenshot. I think I've already taken like two or three. <laughs> I know, I mean, I imagine people are doing way more, but... It's... You know, the light based off this is better as well. It's crazy. It's crazy. 
Here we are, Bright Balloon Post. The soldier stationed here responsible for defending Toliel and preserving the peace. The Lands Guard are led by a nation's strongest warrior, and so naturally, Papa has commanded them since the beginning. At least until three years ago, when Zorel Ja took over as commander. The title is no empty honor. It means the first promise is considered equal to the dawn servant in martial strength. Okay. So, okay. Meanwhile, I haven't even managed to... Well, I discussed my brothers and their accomplishments later. Oh, for no analysis, should be around to hear it too. Come on, it's time I showed you the sky gate. It's right at the northern edge of Talon March. Get a nice feel for the place around here. It's nice. And the jazz music makes it so, like, effortlessly easy just to walk around and, and accept this world building. Because it's just so cozy off the bat. Off the bat, I'm just like... Like, I just want to wrap myself in a blanket. And I'll get my Nightmare Before Christmas Jack blanket and just... Because you had taken a good amount during those few hours? Wait, so you wait, so you took them? Or like, did you not like them so you got rid of them? Or because of the weather it just kind of ruined you? Or... Damn. I guess I got kind of lucky then. Oh! Your screenshot... Oh! I didn't see that one. Your screenshots folder had broken. No way! How did that happen? Oh no, that's gutting. Oh, that's gutting. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel like I have to check mine now to make sure they went in. How did you fix it then? Did you just have to like remake the screenshots folder? Reset the directory? Massive, isn't it? Yeah, it's a it's more than massive. It's, it's just big. It's big. And on the other side is an equally massive bridge to match. Both were constructed by a race of giants, the Yaki. The Yaki? The Yakoi. Strictly speaking, Terrell is actually two separate continents. Yak Terrell, the southern uh, lands of the mother, and Yak Terrell, the northern lands of the father, which lay beyond the bridge. Yak, so you got, so we got Yak Terrell, the Southern Lands, and the Yak. I assume that's like Yak or something. That Yak Terrell. So Yak and Yak and Yak, Yin and Yang. Legends say it used to be one great landmass, but long, long ago the two gods fought a titanic battle, and when one threw the other to the ground, the impact was so devastating as to split the continent in twain. Damn, that would be sick to see. <laughs> Maybe not sick, but a familiar sounding tale. I'm putting my mind to the conflict between Hydaelyn and Zodiac. I knew it! I knew it ringed a bell somewhere. But getting back to the actor, I was like, Don't you mention that! <laughs> Kryle, please! We are done with that! Kryle, look into my one eye! <laughs> we are done! New, new, fa new, new start, new fresh! New game. But getting back to the actor, this lens is also part of the Toliel nation, correct? That's right! Isn't my father incredible? He united the peoples of two continents into a single nation. The many clans of Tyrell had been at war for generations. It was only when Papa traveled the lands and put a stop to the myriad conflicts that we finally had peace. And that's the main reason I want to win the throne. So I can preserve the peace he built. Because somebody else finna try and ruin it. But I see you're more interested in what's beyond the gate than hearing about my aspirations. <laughs> well, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, calling us out. I'm sorry. That's just one really big door. I can't help but eye up the door. It's huge. Crossing the bridge to the actor out requires a special travel pass. Unfortunately, they won't issue any new permits under the right of succession is over. I promise to get you one when I'm done servant, but until then, you'll just have to wait. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Then I'll make sure you mark my words. I want to I won't need to go. <laughs> I'm going across that big old door. You really mean that? Ha! Well, to anyone who stands between you and adventure. Yep. Where's Graha? 
Was that about adventure? Adventure? Where? Like buzzing aliens. There we go. We must have covered half the city by now. Tully Alley is unlike any other place I've visited. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. It's so pretty, the vibes are immaculate. A city of stairs. Yeah, there's a lot of stairs, so never mind a city of stars. City of stars. How do you shine? Oh shit, I got all this stuff. Wait, wait, when did I? When the fuck did I get that? When did I get the bracelet? Why is it my inventory? Is my thing full? Interesting. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me activate my wind up Zidane. That'll do. Anything else I need to activate in here? Oh, uh, we good. Activate this bad boy. But on the bright side, your screenshots work now. What we got here? Mountain Chromite Blade. It's kind of a pretty blade. It even has purple in it. Fair play game. Fair play. Uh, yeah, so just pass that over to me. I mean, I'll run around with this for now. It's kind of fucking big, though. Look at that. It's a fucking huge. Google didn't help you. You know what? That's even more impressive. Google didn't help you, but you still figured it out. Uh, let me just put on my... Put this back on. Boop. Hell yeah. Ranger was good! Is there any chance the soundtrack's available like now? Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But sometimes Google just is no help and... Oh, then that's the whole thing. No. No. Didn't, didn't think. Yeah, I didn't think so. I bet there's those YouTube rips though. <laughs> Google told you to turn off a setting. Computer said no on no. it. Google said do this computer says absolutely no chance Do not do Yo Google says touch it and then Google saying you'll touch the butt and the computer's going no Nemo Don't you dare touch the butt <laughs> And I'm gonna touch the butt You have to clean out the pool probably kill a lot of tadpoles. Well, they shouldn't have been in your pool <laughs> Well R.I.P. Tadpoles, salute to y'all. Yeah, but YouTube's gotta be the place, but I'm, there's no way I'm going on YouTube and searching up Dawn Trail. <laughs> no way. Bulamad is ready to commence the second half of your tour. Woof. Go to your raids. I appreciate you hanging out. Go have fun with those raids. I'll have a good time, and I'll see you when I see you, Marco. And by a lot, you mean a lot. I see. I see. Well. Sounds like you had quite the eventful evening. Well, afternoon. <laughs> well, welcome on in. I hope I hope the pool is all clean and all good to go. Well, head west now towards the arc arch of, Do of the dawn. The dirigible landing is on the way. You have dirigibles too. Toyala certainly doesn't want for methods of travel. We get by. Now if you see enough of this area, let me know and we'll continue on. Yes. The Ark of the Dawn is on the other side of the city, so speak up if you see something that interests you as we walk. Yeah! Oh, there's a lot of things interesting me. You skip rolling on the loot to check one again. Ah. There we get. You know what? <laughs> What 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 is it to do first other than look at how gear pieces look? Honestly, what else is there? Wow, you're tall. Put some stuff in the water. It's no longer green. Nice. There you go. Get in there. It's getting there. Good work. All right, down there now.
God, I can get down with this area. The place is good, man. It, like, it's it's not like I live here good, though. It's not because, like, Crystarium is, like, very homely to me. Emotionally, mentally, physically. But, uh, this is, like, a would be an amazing holiday resort. Yo, Square! Open up Final Fantasy XIV Resort! Mm, there you go. I'll go right here. Yeah, they probably could. Oh, wait, I don't think I grabbed that. Ah, fuck. Run! <laughs> I don't think I grabbed it. I can't remember. So I'm gonna double check. I know I'm probably gonna have to end up over here anyway, but. Oh, did I grab you? I feel like I may have grabbed you actually now, looking at that. Looking at where you are, I may have grabbed you. I grabbed you! <laughs> Worth the double check. Try and grab him as we go past. But there'll always be one or two. They'll be like, oh god, you tell me I didn't get that one? Be like, oh, yeah. But I may want to me to keep it that way. I mean, yeah, it's a commitment, but I'm sure you can do it, man. I'm sure you can do it. So, do you guys have like, do you have like frogs and maybe fish and all that business in your pond or pool pond? Oh, Crow wants to talk. I'm still struggling to con conceive how one could construct an entire city on the side of a mountain. This was originally the site of a Yakhai temple. The giants built it when they were first making the bridge to Yaktarel to appease the gods who slumbers in the great Olchen Trench. After Yakhai withdrew, the temple stumbled en en empty for centuries. So when Papa was establishing his new nation, he saw a structure and he could refurbish into a palace, sitting practically in the center of Terrell. Papa's got a good site for business. I'm gonna tell you, are you doing those raids too? I know it's that raid day. He gathered artisans to do the work, and the house they built for themselves became the foundation of the city you see today. Speaking of houses, we'll be passing through the resplendent quarter, the biggest residential district in Tully Hall. We climbed these set of stairs here all the way up. Do you actually get get a house here? Or is it just like, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a district, but we can't get a place here. Oh, nice. There's a place you can look along the way to. Don't know where the frogs themselves are, but they've been... Okay. Oh. Sometimes you don't see in them both. Tadpoles, babies. But where do the babies come from? Somewhere. That's not the conversation for me to have with you. <laughs> That ain't my role. Uh, How are the rewards going on there? Me? Or someone else? I need to crap my back. Ugh. Ugh. It shows on your screen? Um, I, I don't, I don't think they do. Do I? <laughs> Do I? I mean, I haven't like turned anything on. So like, if I do, it's uh, it's not on me. <laughs> if I do, it's not on me. I thought you had to register. I ain't done shit. <laughs> I haven't done anything. I guess the square's just gone. Yeah, there you go. There's some reward stuff. No, uh, okay. Cool. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Papa's palace is called Volok Shunsa, which ru uh, roughly translates invincible resilience. That's one hell of a name for that big old palace like that. I'm sure we'll go in there many times. You probably want to take a closer look, but we'll be coming back here later. Let's move on for now. What do you think, Ralph? The sheer scale of this place is incredible. I wonder what the carving at the top represents. You can see that? You're breaking your neck looking at that. I'm breaking my neck looking at you. A whole crawl. You you see that top of there? Like up there? Are you talking about all the way up there, crawl? Because you'll be. <laughs> you got the whole TV on the wall situation going on up there. So you looked. Nah, nothing, nothing. I'm sure you got some entertainment out of it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. 
<laughs> yeah, a lot of fellas are just living the Defoe me. <laughs> she got good eyeballs. She, she's got more than 20 20 vision. She's got. She's got scopes in those eyes. A lot of fells are short, but they make up for it with their vision. Except from those with glasses. Unless, unless those buff it up even more. Ooh, we got a little farming area! I'll attune this bad boy. <laughs> no farming for you. It is done. So this is a, a resplendent quarter. What manner of people live here? Oh, we have residents from all the Yachtaro clans. Mamoja, Zabral, Pepalu, Moblin, Anaru. We also have Tanawata, Hetsaro, and Shitona who moved south from the ancestral lands in Yachtarel. In essence, it's a gathering of people from every corner of Torel. A true representation of Toriel's diverse character. The enormous on each building contribute to a, a century cultural aesthetic. It's all so beautiful. It is. Now bring down that sky again. We've had enough of the night sky. Bring me, bring me the sun. I'm glad you think so. Come, we continue down the stairs. Grow strong, my pretties! <laughs> Grow! <laughs> you, <you'll> be, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's terrified of the ocean? Waves do look scary at first. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's intriguing. Well. Whee! <laughs> oh. Hell yeah. I see this place has also broken my knees in now. Gotta break your knees in, don't you? And here are the dirigibles. Not bad, eh? I hear other nations use airships to sail the skies. But you'll only find balloons in Tolly Hello. We had them for the exact same reason as the Ephorites. Corner brought back the plans from Charlay and Papa brought, thought them fantastic and commissioned the construction. This was around three years ago. Since that time, we've added flights to other settlements. Trade with frontier communities have never been easier. But that's enough about Turgibles. The Ark of the Dawn awaits! Yes, it dawns on us. <laughs> oh shit, I'm going to come. <laughs> that way, that way, that way! Oh wait, 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 there's a, there's a thing over here. Let me go get this crazy. Gotta get him. Gotta catch him all. Cause I know I have no idea when they'll send me back over here. They'll have a reason. Maybe the cockster arrives. <laughs> right down here. And everyone goes crazy. It's the cockster. Me too, bro. Me too. It's a really missable thing. The grass movement is so simple, but so nice. Uh, still going the right way. Yeah, but we got another conversation to look at over here. And straight down. I think I got the resplendent quarter. As the orange juice, fucking banging. Better than any juice you will ever consume. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Looks like lemonade. What kind of lemonade looks like that? What kind of lemonade fucking looks like yellow? Or orange? What lemonade you got? My lemonade like clear as fuck. This looks like lemonade? What the fuck? What kind of lemonade are you having? This is lemonade! Oh, it's kinda- it's fucking empty. Uh, this is lemonade! Look at that. That's lemonade. This is lemonade. Right there. 
This is Schwipp's Lemonade. This is our, this is juice. Lemonade, juice, lemonade, juice. And I can promise you, this is, this is, this, look at that. That's lemonade. Look, you can see the bubbles. Look at that shit. Look at it. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I'll drink it right now. Look, I can confirm to you this shit's lemonade. Look. That's lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear. That's a, it is clear. This this is clear. What why is your lemonade tinted? That's what I want to know. Lemon <laughs> Schweppes is like the best lemonade and is clear. Why is yours yellow? I'm still- Is yellow? I feel like you just get juice. There's a good chance- I feel like you just get orange juice or lemon juice and add lemonade to it. Well, it's not water because it's- One, it's fizzy. And no, it's not sparkling water. And two, it tastes like lemons. So, therefore, it is lemonade. And this- Should pro- This will pro- This was a brighter color in that, but it's- It's fucking- Got a little bit fucking dilute now. So- so, and also, here is water. Look at that. That's water, right? That's water. Alright, and this is lemonade. Do you see the difference? One actually looks a little bit hazier. Look at that. This is water. This is lemonade. That is like, you know, kind of like blobby. And like, this like is kind of like, they've got different, uh, like, uh, visibilities. You know what I'm saying? Like, this looks cloudy. This is, like, clear. This is cloudy. Because it's lemonade. Proper lemonade. Schweppes. The type of shit they use at pubs. The bars. You know? Schweppes. That's lemonade, and that's water. And this is orange juice, but I put too much water in. So, with yours being yellow... Uh, I feel like they might just get lemon juice in that actual lemonade. Because I don't know. No, well, this is better than orange juice, any orange juice that you'll ever touch. And that is better lemonade than clearly anything you'll ever touch. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> it's the same way how that, like, overseas Fanta it looks different to UK Fanta, but UK Fanta tastes better. So. So, you know, eat ass really on that one. <laughs> I mean, it ain't Sprite. I'll be back. All right. On order. Go do what you got to do. This is it. The Arch of the Dawn. When the Giants were still here, it was known as the Yachtarel Langate. But when Papa found the Toriyalo, everyone began using his present name in honor of his great achievement. That fucking lemonade's going bubbly now. <laughs> well, this gate is Koma Kozama Uka. The wetlands south of the city, depending on what the right of succession asks of us, we might end up going in that direction. Kozama Uka? That name alone is intriguing. Speaking of which, what were those fluffy animals we passed earlier? <gasps> I want one! They're so fluffy! Ah, <laughs> oh, those are alpacas. Fearsome four-legged fiends. <laughs> Friends. Fearsome? They seem quite placid to me. <laughs> I thought that said flaccid. <laughs> no, they're not flaccid. You'll learn soon enough, Kral. You'll learn soon enough. Llamas here go crazy. They grow like eight legs and go fucking huge. But forget the alpacas. I have something far more important to show you. Come along. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Cracker, what's good? Yeah, it's going great. I mean, I'm, I'm loving my tour. Uh, I'm just, I'm loving the tour. The music's great. The intro was really fun. 
So yeah, caught, caught, I got nobody to complain about. And the sun's almost rising again. That's great. I chose the Hanu first. I just went where the fucking orange circle was. I don't think I chose shit. <laughs> I just follow the circles. If you wish to learn the history of Tuliel, then look no further. These stone pillars, you mean? Oh, pillars. Oh, we have a history for it. A saga in stone. Like in the new town? Yeah, this place is great. This is a hella holiday resort. Wouldn't live here 24-7, but this is a hella holiday resort. It, it's... The vibes are immaculate. The vibes are... This is like the most comfiest world-building area-like section of a new expansion that, like, I've ever done. But that, that, the music and the light, especially when you add in the whole lighting, the visual upgrade, and it's, it's good. It's great. I've still got to mess with some settings all for my frame rate purposes, but goddamn. You see, I wouldn't live here because it's too pretty. Because if I went, if I lived here, I would no longer feel the excitement or the, how extravagant the colors, the architecture, all that is. If I was... Look at those rays for the trees! Wow! And sun has arrived! God! Look at them! That is, that is awesome. That is awesome. But yeah, like, if I, if I lived here, I feel like the essence that, that this place holds would diminish. And I'd just be like, oh yeah, this is natural. Because obviously, whenever you live anywhere for Sunday Pine, any time the specialties that you have there become normal. You know? I, you know, I live in a city-based area, so I have all these portability, you know, transport and everything. It's crazy to me. Uh, while others who come from more village and less of that is, like, amazed by it. I'm like, oh, it's kind of the normal. So I'd be like this. And oh my god, look at that. The normal raids today, the, the ones that came out in the patch. Have you done those? They're crazy fun. I'm hearing a lot of fun stuff about this. I'm hearing a lot of fun stuff. I can't get over these sun. Look at the rays. Look at that. That is beautiful. Yo, we're watching the sunset. We're watching the sunset. We're watching the sunset. The, the sunrise. Look at it go. I think it's moving. It is moving. Just don't stare directly at it. You might ruin your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Just everything like the, the warm tones and coloring. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous! It's also one of those places where I'll be able to get cheaper on booking.com than any place that lives near me. Crafting and gathering have been a pain. Isn't it always? <laughs> I feel like whenever I hear anything about crafting and gathering, it, I, I, I hear, it always sounds pretty tedious or painful in one aspect or another. Ooh, let me get some new chest gear as well. We did just get a weapon gear, but of course we did glamorize it for now to our normal outfit. So we see what we're playing with. What is special about these pillars, if I may ask? At a glance, they might look like ordinary... <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Brent. <laughs> God damn. They might look like ordinary stone decorations. But if you take a really good look, you'll see there's something much more interesting. Oh my god, I'm looking at the sun. Never mind your goddamn pillars. I should probably look at the pillars. The following event cannot be skipped. You won't even handle any pending duty finding registrations. If I got this far and went into duty finding, I'd cry. If I get to this point, well, you know what? I'm bored. Let me do some duty finding. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm being shot by a light ray. Took me a year to max them all? I could never. I, 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 I bow to you. I could never. I absolutely could never. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not doing E for Corrin's either. No. -uh. It has the notes in it. Well, it's it. I hate that the, uh, the the music in these scenes are quiet. Then when I get out of it, it's loud again. 
I don't know if I ever noticed this before. Or if it's something like this. Like, I'll get out of this and the music will roar. Like, it'll go loud at me. But now it's like, quiet. Even though it's not voiced. Pictures? Wait, no, these are glyphs. They seem to tell us a series of stories. Many of them featuring a two-headed Mamu Ja. Oh, then this must be... That's right. It follows the exploits of my father, Gulu Jaja Binks, and his journey to United <laughs> can't help myself, and his journey to United Lands. We call it the Toriyala Saga. The deity performed at the bonds he forged, all immortalized in stone. There's no better way to learn how Toriyala came to be. Study them as long as you like. That's cute. They have the palace to tell the story. That's, that's, that's a cute. I love it. Wow! Yo, this is a point-and-click adventure game now? I wish to talk to the queen. Really, when I started this, just, want, just wanted to start the town and went ham on picked up for like six hours. God damn, just do MSQs picked up. That's great. That's mad, but I, I respect the hustle. I respect it so much. Queen! The four stones closest to us cover the first half of Papa's travels. Let's start with those. The Lay of the Brotherhood. This pillar tells the Lay of the Brotherhood. It depicts the scene when Papa granted an audience to the foreign explorer. Ket something. I can never remember the name. Me either, what? <laughs> I, I can't remember no name, but... Ket. Ket. But I feel like we, we know this name. Yeah. You mean Ket and Ram? Yeah, it's in the books. Ah, oh, that's the one. <laughs> Kit and Ram's arrival in Torelli is what prompted Papa to embark on his own journey. It's said the two grew to be close friends, brothers in spirit, if not in blood, but no one knows what became of the explorer in later years. Kit and Ram's disappearance is a mystery in Ozier as well. The records say he travelled between our lands and yours for a while, but then it assumed he was lost at sea. The Lay of Reeds Here we had the Lay of Reeds. This is a story of when Papa visited the Hanuhanu in the village in Kozamuka. Ah, the people and Alphanod almost mixed up for Vanu Vanu. If not for the colorful plumage, he spent a fair bit of time among the Vanu in the Sea of Clouds, so it's no surprise he took an interest in your countrymen. I don't know how it is with your Vanu, but our Hanu are bright and cheerful sort. They hold this one, fest this one festival every year. Very famous and a lot of fun. Only to make it to the first dungeon at the end of the day, hey. But then you were set, so hello worth it, but God, that's crazy. How's Pictel been? Pictel's been... Is it as strong as I hear? Lays of Repast. This one recounts the Layer of Repast. As you can probably tell, the figure is... Uh, I did hear is that the Zebral, like me. For decades, he, the Zebral? 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 And Muja were at war for control of the forest at Yggdrasil. Uh, most of these things I'm going to butcher, but who cares? <laughs> the actions Papa took to end that conflict have since been hailed as the first steps in the founding of Toriola. Toriola. There is a clan of Hrothgar in Bajor known as Helons. Hey, we didn't do Bajor. <laughs> in this society, the women, the women rule as queens and the men serve as devoted subjects. Yet here in Tyrell, several men, men and women appear to be of equal status. How dramatically culture can vary with location. Crazy. Nice equality here. I like that. I like that. Way too strong. <laughs> Man, but you know what? Enjoy being the artiste of destruction. Uh, let's see. This one is the Lay of Pots. Which depicts the moblins of Kazamuka. They might wear odd masks and sound weirdly muffed when they talk. But the gold and silver work they sell you is the best you'll find anywhere. Mobbling goods are the standard when it comes to gift giving. Clearly the Vanu are the only people who are uh, distant to our counterparts. If you're done with the first half, we can move on to the second. Yeah. You do paint the best mule, that's it, you're just the best artiste. Your, your art brings destruction to those, but also peace. <laughs> lay of code, lay of ice, blank pillar, lay of proof, blank pillar. 
So there's a space to go here, huh? There's a space to go here. Let's just spray paint you on that bit. The Lay of Gold. This pillar shows one of the pe uh, Pepalu, whose homeland is in the Okwapacha. <laughs> Okwapacha! Having created our currency, the Pelu are rightfully known as the Merchant Clan. They oversee Tullyal's markets and their traveling peddlers are a common sight no matter where you go in Tyrell. Don't let their size fool you. They might be mistaken as children. But beneath those beaked masks, they are clever and calculating traders. Estinium has to back off. You don't need to deal with these good businessmen traders. Oh, this one is my favorite. The Lay of Ice. It appears to battle within the legendary Tyrell Vidrel, Valigar Munda! Valigar Munda. You, we heard of you before. Yes, we, we heard of you. You was in the books as well, I believe. We know that one. I should explain. A Tyrell Vidrel is a creature that has lived far beyond its usual lifespan and awakened to potential power. Valigar Munda itself was dubbed the Sky Ruin and named Urn for the destruction and terror it visited upon Terror every time it stirred from its slumber. But 80 years or so ago, its ruinous reign was brought to an end. After a great struple, struple, struggle, Papa and his comrades managed to overcome the raging Vidral, and stood it away in the Uro Macho Mountains. Despite its reputation, however, Valigon Mandu is also a similar power. That's where you see its likeliness on Toriano's national emblem, and adorning the panners at the palace. You use Vodge as a level picked all. There you go. You are part of the law, my brother. You are connected to this world. Look at this. It's so pretty. Ah, the layer proof. The big fellow is of the Yaku, the largest of Terrell's peoples. Those giants once used their great size and strength to establish a dominion and encompass in all of Yak Terrell. Having brought the southern reaches to heal, then they turned northwards, setting their sights on Yak Terrell. You recall that massive bridge they built beyond the Sky Gate? Sometime after la launching their northern campaign. However, they just gave up. They abandoned the lands they conquered and withdrew into the mountains of Orc blah, blah, blah. I've never seen any of their kind so much as set a foot in the city. This was a people with the power and resourcefulness to raise a temple on a mountaintop and build a bridge across the sea with stone. What would move them to renounce their ambitions and their place in Tarali history? Hmm, what indeed? And what's this blank pillar? Oh, this one is unmarked. Papa says he left a blank pillar for the next chapter of Toliel's history, whatever that may be. How'd you feel of history then? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. That's so nice. I love that the whole pillars and the side and the pillars and the meaning and the history. I love that so much. That's so good. Yes, thank you. We are done with the pillars. A lot of interesting stuff there. It's interesting. Oh! Boom! 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 <laughs> Glad to hear it! You know, I feel awfully hungry all of a sudden. No surprises there, seeing as I couldn't keep anything down for a while. But now I think I'm ready to eat again. <laughs> so let's go and have ourselves a bit of a local delicacy. Come! I'll take you to the best restaurant in our city. Alright, now we're going in! God! I mean, I'm surprised it took her this long considering all that she let out, let out in the boat, so, fair play. <laughs> I will enjoy vacation! Enjoy, go do what you gotta do, Shubla. Enjoy. We half go are crazy folk sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta keep an eye on the, on the half guards, they'd be crazy. I like the sound of that. Yeah, me too, I like food. Food after a good tour? Absolutely. Makes me want to eat now, but... I've done my eating for the day. I've done my eating. Done. Bum, bum, bum. Now I'm not gonna get tired of that. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's so. Uh... The only part that I fear though is will I get too cuts to will I get way too comfy? <laughs> <laughs> that it makes me sleepy. I fear for that. Because it's really comfy. Like, um... It's also very bright. Very bright. <laughs> but yeah, Uh, did I get you? No. I might have ran past a few then, to be fair. We'll see. There we go. 
What have we got? Haven't been over there yet. The marketplace. I didn't go up and grab that, but I don't think no, we went there. And uh, watch a meek, wee, 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 wee. Mecky, mecky. However you say that thing. Oh! <laughs> Shade! Oh my god, it's so pretty! It's so pretty! It has no right to be this pretty! Damn! Absolutely no right. Have you ever had tacos? They're a Toriyalo classic. You make a crunchy shell made of corn flour and fill it with meat and salad. A lot of shops and stalls sell them, but I like how they're made here at Zal Zalv 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 Best. And I need one right in front of me, right now. Let's head downstairs and place an order with Old Brook Ifu. <laughs> Let's go to tacos! Is this how we summon Graha? I mean, I don't know how much damage Black Mage does, but I know, like, Pictol has hands. <laughs> well, has paintbrushes. The most, like, brutal paintbrushes of, like, all time. <laughs> Koopo Koopo damage! Yo! I saw his first thing I could think of was Cloud Strife. <laughs> why, why does Cloud the hair? The hair, the little red streaks as well. I mean, Cloud doesn't have red streaks, but I'm just admiring the red streaks. This is Brooke Over, the owner. The old lady's unassuming appearance for you. When it comes to making tacos, he's the greatest artisan in all of, in all of Terrell. Alright. Let's see those tacos in, buddy. Fill me up. Put me in a food coma. I mean, look at these food, though. Look at those kebabs. It's crazy. My companions must sample your heavenly tacos. One for each of us, please. Right away, promise. And I'll pack them tight with my choicest feelings. Only the best for you and your friends. Did you hear the silver scares are back? Oh? Seems that overseas foray ended in disaster. More than half their warband is missing, including their leader. Silver scales. Aye, and now keen to rebuild their broken reputations, the survivors seek the Golden City. <laughs> A fool's errand. How many hopefuls have disappeared in search of that fable? They should count their lucky stars they came home alive at all. The legend of the Golden City is well known here, I take it. It is, but as no one's ever seen it, many question if there is any truth to the tale, like our skeptical Erinville. I can't imagine the Dawn Servant would request a formal survey for a place that doesn't exist. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Now to find this spot with a pleasant view to enjoy our crunchy spoils. Let's see them. Let's get them. Let's see these tacos. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Our tacos. Oh. Our tacos. <gasps> it's the guy people want to fuck. <laughs> if it isn't the third promise. I think it is anyway. Oh, no. And he comes through stamping on our tacos. No, these ones. <sighs> New salt. Dredge from foreign waters is my guess, brother. 
Of course, that's it. Wuklamat is so afraid of the coming contest that she went crying for special help. <laughs> now nah, she's just acquired the greatest party member of all time. Is something you wanted, Bakul Jaja? <gasps> the third promise remembers us. Such an honor. Ah, tacos. <laughs> Glory on your name, brother. <laughs> and on yours, brother. I know my rivals for the throne. Nothing more. Another child of the Dawn Servant? No, this brute. <laughs> we have no ties to their farce of a family. Unlike the sneveling house cut, we are blessed siblings, the Oliver Chosen. We alone are fit to succeed Golul Jaja as Dawn Servant. All peoples are equal in Tulihyola. Your heritage gives you no greater claim to the throne. Ha! <laughs> Shall we test that idea here and now? See if your strength is equal to ours. So they destroy our tacos and then come through trying to throw hands? <sighs> you can't find an empty stomach! None of this has any bearing on the right of succession, correct? Best not waste your energies on pointless scuffles. <laughs> the kitten comes to the house cat's defense. You guys seem really like punchable. Since when was our nation overrun by mewling weaklings? Listen to me, you. Don't make a whip out that brush. <laughs> She's OP, dog. <laughs> Damn. Right, so we got the jocks. <laughs> the hard ass jocks. I knew of them, but that's the first I've seen in the flesh. Some get it into their twin heads that they're destined to follow in my father's footsteps. So they travel to distant lands to hone their battlecraft. Those are likely the ones you've heard about. Are there other two headed claimants? No, just Bakul Jaja. Oh, okay. Even in Tural, his kind are far from common. I can make that one head. The Mamulja people largely belong to one of three clans. The Hubio. Yo, that taco, the look at that taco. And the Dopro. Every once in a great while, a two-headed offspring is born from a union between the brown-scaled Hubiko and the blue scale Bunewa. I was gonna say, that they, they look like the mix of those two. Strength, both physical and magical. Oh great, they're OP, great. Blessed siblings indeed. Love that. Forget them. Let's go and buy more tacos. I can think of nothing better to rid me of this bad taste in my mouth. Let's go buy more! Oh. Link Pearl all set. Enjoying your tour of the city, I trust. We've seen our share of notable sights and took a moment to rest. As such, we're ready to present ourselves at the palace for the right of succession. Shall we meet you there? No, it's taco time first. The palace it is. <laughs> I'll let Wuklamart know. Yo, give us 10 minutes to have these tacos. We can't do no right of succession without taco Destiny fuel. Destiny calls. Perhaps we can return for more tacos later? No! No! Uh, she's hungry! She's hungry! Nah. It alters that- Oh, it alters that Endwalker post! Yo, you are catching up real good! That's awesome, man! I'm looking forward! I'm really looking forward! It's gonna be a good time. <laughs> wow, this is a good time! I was looking forward to trying some authentic Toriyale cuisine. 
We should hurry and join Alphano and the others at the palace. Alright, it's a bit of a climb to the top, but you can head up from the Red Pleasant Quarter, over on the eastern side of the Tattle March if you prefer. Now that you have an idea of how the city's laid out, I'll let you find your way your own, your own way to Volok Sunja. Ah, oh, my poor empty belly. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Queen has to go without food. Unbelievable. Then you can skip every speed running. Beautiful. I mean, you did really well. Like, I'm impressed. Not only did you do your own stuff, you've been you know, really close in your ult as well. So, you are a very impressive person. Very, very, very impressive. If I'm correct, did that finish off the mission and I got, um... No? No, it's not finished. Long quest, long quest. Battlecraft supplier! Oh, we don't want dumb. I'm just seeing if they got anything new in here. Like, is this actually, like, anything new? Better? Oh, headband arc. And this is one of those two pieces. Do you can even favorite die and apply them? That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. I'm just doing a little bit of looky look searching right now. How does other stuff look to be fair? Big old robe. There's a little fluff there at the bottom. Like, the default in that colors kind of suck ass, but I feel like you can make something nice out of this. I kind of like how the how it works in there. That's cool. Just my main. Oh! Uh, make it. Oh! Kraken, you did not have to, my boy! Bam, bam, bam! Here is your reminder of how much I hate ads. Tie for your time ads, but go away. <laughs> Piss off ads! <laughs> Kraken, thank you for using your prime on me. I super appreciate it. I know you probably watch so many others and do all that business. So using that free prime on us, so you can chill. With no ads here is super, is super appreciative. Uh, so thank you for that. Then they ask, down with ads, get on here anymore. Barely on Twitch anymore? I mean, coming here, barely on Twitch, use it on me, and you hang out with me. That's I, I, I feel honored. I feel honored. With my main characters, all my options, and the September's just savage towards it kind of got me. When I focus, I do give him my all. I, 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 think, I think you've done incredible. Like, I, you should not doubt yourself at all. Like, I could not do all this man, all this stuff that you've done here. The blue vibe, huh? I've never gone with blue. Mm, that wouldn't work. Okay, I think I'm gonna. S kind of like the white and purple. Kind of don't like this shell, but like I, I feel like I could work with like a white and purple, you know. And I love the designs going on here. I'm not gonna get this now, but Got the pants as well. I guess I would go with them. I love that for a guy who wears a lot of purple. A lot of this stuff has come like with purple, so ah. Uh...
That's fun stuff. I can't. I do, this dying. This multi die system seems good. It seems good. Seems good. We got it. I mean, I don't think this is anything for. Now, oh, this is this is for your, your tool users out there. Field craft. Yeah. This is taking my time to enjoy. There's no reason to speed rush. You know. I think I like six jobs maximum in three weeks. Like I, I couldn't do it. Like you say, you got your very weak attention. I think like I like I. You amaze me, honestly. I like you. You are sick. <laughs> like I, I wish I could like do these things that you do. Like to catch up on, on the old how you have while doing your own stuff and doing Dawn Trail and the raid and the Pictomancer. Like that's that's a lot. So you should. Definitely take that as a big win, brother. Oh wait, you can dual die these weapons now? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So this samurai arm that we got, which is this one. And then sheaf. Oh, the red on there kind of bangs. That red's kind of hot. That's like kind of hot. All right, and the white handle. Oh, like I said, I haven't, cho I haven't got my like idea of, of the summer glam down yet. So it's gonna be very fun to see what we run into, see what we do. But it's all, it always just comes as a whim. It's like when I see it, and I really like it. That's how it turns into like, I, like that outfit was all just like I see that there's something nice we could do there, but it didn't reach out to me. But like, it's really cool what you can do. Always an adventure. Well, I mean, that have an adventure. I always have stuff going on. That's pretty sick, man. Well, I'm not saying that I don't have one. Like, I wish I kind of did more adventurous stuff, but I think I think I've moved to that quite a bit. Especially like next, uh, like next year, I'm gonna be going abroad for the first time. Like, oh wow, look at that trip! People's World Warrior lights now look amazing, and I, 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 oh, I feel very inferior. <laughs> oh man, I feel very inferior. Oh, I should have just gone over there. Let me just <laughs> my first teleport. Let's go. An acquired pizza. Oh, what you eating? I know pizza, but like, what's up? Let me be nosy. Let me be nosy. Uh, what's the closest one I've got? Like, man. I love everyone's outfit so much. <laughs> That's a joke about with the suit. <laughs> Oh, pepperoni, stuff crust, and all stuff crust. Oh, yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, I think of it, yeah, very highly about all of you, man. I think you're all amazing and you're all stuff going on. I mean, goddamn. And like the way you can tackle Soul Mode's range and you got the hectic, like, I mean, uh, uh, Kraken, the way you could, I mean, you're all tackling Soul Mode. You're like, you're, you're fucking mad. Like, the, like, fucking range has done a lot the past few months. You are going. You're doing, making so much progress with all this stuff while and like handling your life's hectic, hecticness. It's like, goddamn, starting it all over the place. I apologize, but I hope you'll know what I'm saying. Uh, no stuff, but hey, 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 plane's good too. Plane's good too. Yeah, I didn't get that one. Uh, fastest way is uh, uh, we make our own way. We explore in the meantime. Across and around, across and around. Wee. Let's not put that sprint on. I mean, I'll cut through there. Why not? Now, bro, I can barely even just like beat a game. And cracking you fucking smash to pieces. <laughs> so. And like, if you're saying you got a low attention span, I, I don't know what I've got. 
<laughs> if yours is low, I. Oh, the flowers don't jump up in this spot. Let's play tag. You're it. <laughs> you can't outrun me. Yo, future pro tags here. Get him. Three. Okay. One, two. Ah! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Even the NPCs have life. It's oh, that's so fucking cute. That's so cute. <laughs> My apologies. Look at that, man. Look at this goddamn place and this lighting and this goddamn. Oh, damn. Look at that. That's gorgeous in every aspect. This is just making me glow. I mean, love. Now, we didn't get our tackles. Very unfortunate. Let's get this tune and let's see what's going on down here with this right of succession. I'm sure it'll be a smooth process where uh, nothing will go this, that, or the other way, yeah? I cut on by, I cut on by, I cut on by, I cut on by. Hell yeah. Wait, maybe I'll, I'm kind of digging the red and green vibe. Maybe I'll have an idea from that. Yeah, lots of chaos and anxiety. Who loves a bit of chaos and anxiety, huh? Your inside out emotions were going crazy up there. <laughs> Same. Ah. Oh. Don't we all, but we're all goddamn amazing human beings. It's what makes us so human. Oh, Erinville! How did your story, how did your adventure go? We saw a two-headed Mamu John on our way here. Another claimant in the right of succession, according to Erinville. Yeah, he's an asshole, he destroyed our tackles! The food is amazing. A passing Mamu John let us try a fruit called Cherry Moya, and he was just sublime. Well, I'm glad you had a better experience with the townsfolk here than we did. Just look at the out- I'm, I'm just loving people's outfits. I mean, I, I like being nosy and see people's outfits. But like, they're all just so pretty and cute. And I love this cowboy lot of fell right here. <laughs> I love that cowboy lot of fell. Very, um, Indiana Jones vibe-ish. There are so many now are winding streets. But even if you get lost, all you have to do is keep heading up. And you'll arrive at that palace eventually. Oh, I didn't speak to Aaron. You made it. Good. They were all here. I'm still hungry enough to eat a whole roasted colibri. But the contest won't wait for us forever. Oh, there we go. Gear, 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 gear. That's probably what I could have just bought, to be fair. It was probably going to give me that. I imagine it's going to give me that. Yeah, there, there it is. I'm sh there it is. Are we still... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't hate it, you know. I don't love it. But, like, knowing that purple was already my vibe and, like, I really like a bit of white on the gear, it just kind of, like, automatically fell into that, like, that ranking for me. Obviously, these would have to change and stuff, but... I, I could I could work with it, you know? Like... I don't know, mix it with something that's not as chunky. <laughs> Definitely not those, those are huge. Like I can, I, I can vibe. But for now, I will put my glamour to what it was. Not naked. There we go. Oh, several cutscenes we're playing sequence. Oh, it's cutscene time, baby. You get your popcorn. Or we'll get your pizza if you're Ranger. 
Sufficient time to view these scenes in the entire thing. Yeah. The right of secession. Uh, Edinville has been waiting patiently for your arrival. Right. Let's go. Let's get in it. I've equated the twins with the city as best as I could in a short time. Their unbridled enthusiasm made it rather difficult. Invariably, something would catch their eye, spurring them to run down an alley to investigate. It feels like hurting a pair of unruly co coals. <laughs> They're as excited as we were. <laughs> I understand all too well. Charlene had the same effect on me. Right then, now it's the time we saw the inside of the palace. Papa will want to know I'm home and to meet the allies I've chosen. Given how impulsive he is though, there's no telling what we might be in for. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna assume we're not gonna get in there and he just shoves, it, shoves us in a goddamn hole. <laughs> Alright, fight! Fight to the death! You know? Doubt, doubt we're gonna have to deal with that. Duh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay, great. Swords are clashing, weapons are bracing. Okay. Seems friendly. Whoa. Yo, wait, 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 wait. Is that, is that, is that, is that Stinian? Esteban! Esteban! Kick his ass! Yo, look at that lance! Kick his ass, Estinian! Of course, the first time we see him, he's throwing hands. When did he get here? <laughs> What's the point? Why is he here? Oh, you know this man? Whenever my father spots a promising opponent, he invites them for Sun Perch to duel. Pressing duties or no, he can't resist a good fight. <laughs> so the one Estinian is crossing blades with is a father. Yo, that's awesome! Two people that just love to throw hands. Great. <laughs> that will do, Spearman. I will receive my darling daughter. Hi. <laughs> Long time no see. Know that you are the strongest I fought in many a moon, if not longer. It is the privilege of a lifelong lived to face such a formidable soul. <laughs> if it's formidable you want, then look no further than that man there. Yo, don't eye me up. <laughs> I'm I'm just chilling out here. I'm not I'm not whipping my blade out. Hmm. I see you, warrior. I've been through a little bit of the depths. You know what I'm saying? I've been I'm, I've been slightly through it. We had no idea you meant to visit Tyrol. I've seen what lies east. This time I chose west. Simple as. And thus did our itinerant dragoon make his travel plans. You witnessed our bout. If you thought he was fearsome, that was with one head dozing. I'm not sure I understand. Well, I did see like a little cover up on the other one. Yeah. So I thought there was only one, but has been feeling his ears. I guess he also has two heads. Just crazy. The uncovered side is the head of resolve, and age has only deepened his love for combat. But the head of reason, wiser of the two, sleeps more and more these days. As I understand it, the veil helps with the restoration of his magical energies. Enough about me, Lamati. I want to hear of your adventures. Hey, Dad. Lamati. Is that? Not the <laughs> I'm gonna know that's. Endearment. It's what my family calls me. Change your name. 
Let me see. Aaron? When last did we see you in the palace? A green in Southern Ash. It's Erinville now. <laughs> Damn. He shut that down quick. I took the name while abroad. And have since grown accustomed to it. Erinville then. And these others? I assume our Lamatis recruited allies. That's right. Got pulled in the gotcha. Ha! All tempered steel. Yet, as much as I'd enjoy testing their metal, the hour of the right is at hand. I will summon the other claimants at once. Then I shall leave you to it. Good fortune, my friends. Nice seeing you. <laughs> see you when I see you, Stinian. Esteban. If that is even your real name. Oi, oi. Boo! You owe us a taco! You owe us three tacos! Well, four tacos! We'll get one more extra. Oh, well, seems like an even fight to me. <laughs> the Claymans are assembled. The first promise. Zorolja. The second promise, Ona. It's green hair, Graha. <laughs> the third promise, Uglamat. Yeah. What an asshole. And lastly, the chosen of Mamuk, Bakun Chacha. A yawn? This dude. You four will compete in the right of succession. The outcome of which will decide who takes my place as Dawn Serpent. I am not the man I once was. My wiser half sleeps the days away. I might be tripping. But I feel like they've really worked on like facial expressions more. But mine is a torch that has never been passed. Tuli Yolan is young. And so I look to the always for inspiration. The right of succession. The means by which the Autark of Mamok was chosen. Only the two headed were deemed fit for this contest. But the Tuli Yolal I built is a nation of many peoples. Our leader needn't have two heads, nor be a Mamulja at all. <sighs> no specifications, so, so you don't get of you don't get bonus points. Not only to the son I sired, but to my adopted children as well. Yet the opportunity to rule was still not equal. That is why a recent tournament offered a place in the contest as the winning prize. <laughs> yo, yo, your spit going everywhere, dude. Come it. Us to compete again. Though it seems the one head was already too afraid to face us. Getting shamed for being a one for only having one head? Crazy. Crazy. Like hornless. 
father was in shock to Rol, leading the Landsguard on a campaign to eradicate a Tural Vidral. Well, he speaks fast. Anyone with sense would know he was too busy for games. Woof! Now for the part you've been waiting to hear. There's some heat going on. The nature of the contest itself. To triumph in the right of succession and thereby claim our nation's throne, you must travel the lands of Yoctural and find the city of gold. Whoa! Damn, we gotta find the fabled land, huh? Yeesh! Oh, you don't look like an adventurer, buddy. The Golden City is an ancient Turali legend, but after so many failed attempts to find it, the story has become more fairy tale than fact. If you would charge us with such a quest, are we then to assume you have proof of the city's existence? Are you for us proof, my unbroken word? For I have seen it with my own four eyes. Oh. Maybe you might have a connection there, Kral. The city's real. Kral, eight. All those years. This was before the founding of Turliobal. I traveled the lands of Turol with my companions. And we ended our journey at the gates to the Golden City. I mean to have you do the same. But in order to achieve victory proper, you need to break the seal I put in place. Seal? Bring them. Keys to the seal? How to break the seal? Like what? What you bringing? This is interesting, man. This is interesting. Oh. Tablets. Pillar slots. So the pillars. The Tuliola saga. You will retrace the path I walked to unite our peoples step by step. Along the way, seven chosen electors will be waiting to measure your worth. Okay. Earn their keystones by performing the feats they ask of you. Once you've fitted each of the seven tablets with the keystone, you'll have the key to unlock the seal on the Golden City's gates. So, you know, seems pretty simple. You know, just... So the contest is in stages, none of which can be skipped by rushing to the ultimate objective. Exactly. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Martial tournaments, hunting festivals, and now this? You do so love your contests, Papa. He loves the frill. <laughs> Were I a few years younger, I would have joined in myself, giving you a proper challenge. You may think the ride is tedious or nonsensical, or both, but I am yielding our nation's throne. Let me have this final indulgence. A waste of time. Just name Bakunja as successor and be done with it. <laughs> this man! <laughs> 
light of cessation begins now. Yes. I'll be watching your progress with great interest. The audacity of this two-headed dude. And Clement, remember to collect your tablets before you leave. I'll get the eye tablet five. Don't worry, what we got you. I'm gonna be such a good side character. Oh, she got. She just got straight up to it. You are one of Lamachi's allies. Let's speak freely. I am Cryo Baldessian, representative of the students of Baldessian. My name is perhaps familiar to you. Ah. It would seem you sent this letter to my order some years ago. The ink has since faded and much of the writing is illegible. Even so, we managed to determine the essence of it. A request to investigate the Golden City. Addressed to my grandfather, Galuf. Included with the correspondence was this earring. A fairy tale a and a piece earring. of jewelry were enough to convince my grandfather to sail halfway across the world. So there is surely some greater mystery at work here. On behalf of the students, I've come to seek clarification on the matter. Have you any knowledge you might share with me? <laughs> no, not at this time. Huh? I have tasked the claimants with finding the Golden City. To fulfill your request would afford one of them an unfair advantage in the right of cessation. Damn, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> you cannot unlock. You are too... <laughs> Too low a level. I trust the entire truth to my successor. If you want to hear it, then you have best help Lamachi win. That's crazy! <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you this would be cheating? I will find your golden city. Thank you for hearing my petition. I love that so much. I do know, yes, but uh, you know, you know, that would be cheating. <laughs> Not allowed. How about that? She's grown into a remarkable young woman. Ooh. You should be proud, Galov. Yo! Ah, uh, yo, that's amazing. Okay. Okay, and that literally gives so much reason for Kral to be a part of this journey as well. That is so... I love that. It is like such a... Alright, yeah, help her win, you get your answers. Such a good way to intertwine those. Too late to change your mind now, I suppose. But are you sure you wish to be part of this? It sure beats going to the edge of the world. Our third promise is not want to take no for an answer. I love this version so of the scene, of help. the theme, so much. I worry that you were swept up in her relentless enthusiasm. Or perhaps you've been lured by the glory of the Golden City. Either way, this contest for the throne will place you and yours at the heart of political turmoil. Ah, if you are second guessing we've been there position, before. <laughs> tell me now. This may be my last chance to help you withdraw. It's a series of journeys, my friend, and there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. Mm. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. 
Graz! Oh, it's like. We hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. He's like, like, his voice is like the perfect, like, motivation, life, in depth dude. Like, it's so good. It's so good. Graha, your words. So carry on with us, man. I want to see where this journey leads. For Graha. So you are committed to your path. I will speak no more of it then. As for my own involvement, I can no longer conduct myself as a mere guide, I think. Not after the dawn servant's revelation. Uh huh. Gonna give us a lowdown, buddy. Oh. Such a fearsome mean. Make no mistake, there goes Turiolo's mightiest warrior. He's mega pissed for being called one head as well. Oh. First promise, our village needs aid. The cold weather stunts our crops, and the children of our village go hungry. All right. Once you ascend the throne, I beg of you, grant my people new lands, please. Sir Elja. Take heart, tiller of the soil. The resilient son, blood heir to the dawn servant, has heard your pleas. Yeah, he definitely does not speak much at all. He has his own little translator right there. Sir Elja, the first promise and commander of the landscape. Soralja, the palace As he was so careful to remind the crowd, Soralja is indeed the natural child of Guru Jaja. And resilient son, is that another title, like the first promise? After a fashion. I love the titles. Common knowledge has it that two-headed Mamulja cannot sire children. Yet Soralja was born all the same, oh. with the head of Resolve's features. And the head of recent scales. An extraordinary example of life's unyielding resilience. That's kind of wild. And a warrior's reticence. He says little, but the way he moves. I know a hardened soldier when I see one. He's been through some shit! He's a natural swordsman. A gift he inherited from his father. Some even say that the son has already surpassed the sire. Should he come to power, Damn. the first promise means to employ that martial prowess in the conquest of foreign lands. For this, he and his supporters have been labeled expansionists. This puts him in direct opposition to Wuklamat, who advocates for the preservation of peace. You may recall that she spoke of a claimant who cannot be allowed to rule. That is Oralja, the warmonger. Oh, Kryon, are you all right? <sighs> the echo. It gave me a glimpse into Zoralja's ambitions. Damn, Echo, do you want to give me anything? And unknowable. Oh, Echo wish. just has passed, not ambitions. Yet at the same time, a roaring, unquenchable fire. All right, well. <sighs> it was a trifle terrifying, to be frank. Can't be having that one. This is a great way to in, like introduce these characters more as well, outside of that right of the passage. They get their own little spotlight catwalk. All right, what do they want? Second promise. You must bring us more marvelous conveniences, <laughs> more dirigibles and trains and the like. We need you in charge to make trading easier. <laughs> I'm just a kid. <laughs> The elders, they complain and complain about abandoning tradition. But we're not like them. Afraid of everything foreign and new. 
Trains and wagons, let's go! I know a group. Forgive me, but the rite of succession is barely begun. I will hear your petitions if and when I am named Don Servant. If you will excuse me. Damn. It's like, yeah, I will listen if I win, but I gotta go. Plain spoken, <laughs> as always. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's our corner. Practical to a fault. Here we have Kona. The second promise. We spent time as a pupil at Charlian's own studio. Now that you mention it, I think I did see him in the halls once or twice. There was nothing to suggest he was too rally, much less from a royal family. Can we actually see him? Was he actually there? That was by design. He forwent his usual garb and took an Eorsian name to avoid attention. So it was Kona who introduced the dirigibles. And the railway too, given what we just heard. In furtherance of his goal, to enrich Tuliolal with every bright notion he learned of in Sharlia. He is the hope of those who prize innovation. As aloof as he may seem, Kona and Wuklamat actually get along rather well. They bicker and batter us. Yeah, I mean, they to. seem like they would. Kind of similar how like you two banter all the time, huh? With your back and forth. I feel like I'll get similar vibes. <laughs> Give me my tacos! How gracious of you all to cheer the lesser claimants. This guy talks too much. <laughs> the rest walk through, yeah, he's like, oh, hi! I I am the shit. Oh, come now. What are you afraid of? I'm no different from your dawn servant. Bro, it's your demeanor. It's nothing about that head. Kind should reign. It's Mamulja tradition, and has been so since before there was a Tuliola. I'll brush aside your feeble contenders. And then you'll see who deserves your fealty. <laughs> well said, brother. So I can't have the more warmonger of this guy. Definitely not winning. The Mamuncha have finally found peace in Tuliolal. A pity those fanatics are intent on keeping that tradition alive. Man's got the back muscles though. Crazy. The chosen of Mamuk, Bakul Jacha, winner of the recent martial tournament, and the only claimant not of the Dawn's promise. His strength is undeniable, but you see how he is. A few devoted Mamulja are his only supporters. What would he do with the throne should he win it? I'm surprised you don't can't see that with the echo. His policies and so forth. <laughs> I doubt he's thought much beyond winning the contest itself. He just wants the crown, but he doesn't know what the other fuck like he would do. If he does become Don Servant, he will see the Mamulja exalted as the ruling class, and all others forced into subservience. Sounds like another that cannot be allowed to rule. Yeah, uh-huh. Just wants the goddamn title. Feel like he, he deserves it. Feel like he's the hot shit, but... Pff, no. Damn, really? Mostly, most have left? What is this? Come around for the queen! Come on! Damn. Really? Really? We wish for one thing and one thing only, third promise. That's to crazy. Ride together in harmony with our neighbors whom we love in this land we share. It is our way, the Turoli way. Galul Jaja built for us this peaceful nation, and we beg you to preserve it. You have my word. 
I won't let your pleas go unanswered. Why would the crowd piss off like that? How dare they? She deserves the all the cream. Founded some eighty years ago, this continent was ravaged by war. The eldest among us remember that dark era, and they are Wuklamat's most ardent supporters. Apologies, it's hard to get away. This is Namika, my childhood nursemaid. Oh, She's been like a mother to me my whole life. Mother I told Queen. Her it wasn't necessary, but she insisted on seeing us off. I place our precious third promise into your care. Did you know Wuklamat was taking part in the Rite of Succession? Yo, oh, the rumors! Of the Dawn's promise. I thought it was only Zoralja and Kona. If she has any accomplishments to her So name, that's why then. They don't actually know them. she was in. Okay. Oh, Compared he... to the two Mamulja, she pales in martial prowess. And then there's Kona, who's far and away the most educated of the bunch. I hate to say it, but it's hardly a competition. Hell no, she's got hearts! It's all you need! Fine. More than anyone, I understand how much better my brothers are than me. Alpha no, go talk some sense. You got those eye bags for a reason. Walk Lamart. I have never thought of you as the lesser sibling. Your brothers may excel in their respective ways, but you boast qualities that both lack. A strength that is yours alone. Having cared for you for so long, I should know. I love her already. Thank you, Namika. Well, we ought to be on our way. Yes, hurry along. I await word of your victory with bated breath. <laughs> She's the best, man. Ulamat is the best. A nice person of just joy that I needed after what we've been through in the last few expansions. Yeah! I'd be back. No, worries, no worries. Back is hello, hello, hello. Just making sure I've got this in the back comment if I manage to get it or not. Yeah. <laughs> then everyone's playing this. <laughs> Let's get it! Oh, not that. Alright. Oh, I already got it. You know what, like... I don't know, like, maybe like some kind of like... Nah, actually, no, that's too much you are. At least, like, maybe some kind of tick or something. Or maybe change the coloring, but... Nah, I'm not dumb. I should just know what I've done. <laughs> so, like, my, my stupid ass should just be aware of what I've done. See <laughs> everyone sprint past up here is kind of amusing. Yeah, this scale as well. Like I things always appreciate architecture, scale, lighting, and like they, this place got it. Oh man, look at this! Look at the water! Look at all! Look at all that! Look at the goddamn sun! The sun do what a sun do. Well, so much for that brief reunion I had in mind. Papa is not one to waste time when he decides to act. I'm used to it by now. Of course, but others are often caught off guard. If any case, we should talk about how we're going to find the City of Gold. All we have to work with are the seven tablets and the connection to the Toriol Saga. Might I suggest first comparing the tablets against the pillars? We could check for any discrepancies between them. Good idea. Let's go and take a look. Ah, oh, so see if there's any differences. Okay, okay, okay. Good play, good play, good play, Yugi boy. Good play, good play, good play, Alpha now. Good play, good play, good play. Oh shit! <laughs> I was looking at the <laughs> Maybe this wasn't your best bet, Wook. <laughs> Ow! Maybe this wasn't your uh, best bet of a of a party helper. What have we got? Have we got anything that's close to this? Don't have that. Oh! Well, we got that, but that, I feel like that's actually further. I just know we can drop down. Can we? 
Ah, uh, not really. It's fine. Yeah, you know, kind of. We'll go down this way. Yep. Has returned. Welcome back. Welcome back. Should I take it that was you finishing your pizza and then putting it away? I'm going to assume. Well, maybe you got a drink here, man. Well, let's see what's going on with these pillars. What differences? Carl, have you found anything? I won't give up until we find the Golden City. For work, Lamar, as well as myself. I wasn't expecting events to progress that quickly, but I won't complain. The contest is the main reason we're here, after all. <laughs> Little elephant. The preparation of intricacy carved tablets for every claimant must have taken considerable effort and forethought. We should consider them way, uh, consider way to remind us that this contest is no light-hearted matter. Yeah, you're correct, Eden. Hmm. At a glance, they seem much the same. That makes everyone. Wiggle them up, the tablets, if you would. <laughs> of course! Alvinol's about to buzz his brain magic. <laughs> That's what we're going with. Everyone has a tablet? Then let's compare them to their respective pillars. Keep an eye out for even the smallest differences. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't I can only see with one eye. <laughs> Girl, girl's really short. She might miss a difference if it's all the way up high. Alright, whatever. Which one have I got? Oh. Who's got the different one? Who's that Pokemon? Uh, two golden. Dragon, dragon. I think the top was lit up then. On the tablet. Could be wrong. Is that the difference? Unless I'm missing something, the, gly the glyphs appear to be identical. The only difference being that the tablets have hollows where the keystones are to be fitted. So now that we've established that the scenes are the same, where do we go from here? The Dawn Servant said we were to retrace the path he walked in uniting Tyrell's people, and that we would encounter seven electors along the way. Hmm, then we have the answer here in front of us. Papa's path is all laid out in the Toriel Saga. Toriel Saga. The offense the glyphs betray. Do we know the exact locations where they took place? If one is close, we could go there and search for an elector. That would confirm we're on the right track. Okay, so we just got. Let's try that one. Let's try that one. <laughs> okay. Hmm, let me think. The Lee of Reeds was in the nearby Hano Hano settlement. Papa took me there once. It was during festival season, and the whole village was alive with good cheer. There's also the Lay of Gold. That one involved the uh, Palo Palo village, which is about the same distance from here. Before going anywhere, we should ask around about the road ahead. So don't we be its own game series? Don't tempt them. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be some maybe some kind of content series in the future. Who knows? Who knows? That was all into the past. Echo style. I heard a lot of talk as we told the city about the storm we passed through the sea. Apparently it ravaged York Terrell the evil, several days ago. Since our roads are not as well paved as the Aussie's, they're more susceptible to damage from natural disasters. If we want to avoid wasting time taking a dead end trail, I suggest we spend a few moments making inquiries. He's got a point. He's got a point. If it's information we need. Just leave it to me. I'll, I'll bring the information to us. Okay. Hello, oh, guys. Anyone got marshmallows? <laughs> It'll be prudent to ensure we're prepared for the journey. I'll guide you to the accommodations I've arranged. Yo, accommodations? We got it in. Let's see it. Let's see it. So I hold up. I got a. I got an idea. <laughs> Goes off on a whole on her own whole adventure there. Well, we ever see her again? Who knows? Got the fight. We got the. We got to find a city of gold. 
But both Kryl and what am I to say? And for everyone's sake, to be fair. Oh, yeah, we got the full-on Viper Assassins gimmick going on. We got the Cowboys. We got the. I love the red and the white Via. Uh, Via. Uh, I think Via anyway. Still get used to these terms. And that Lollafell just has a giant X on their face. That's right. The reservation is under Wuklamat's name. If you don't mind, I'll leave my companions to you. Certainly, sir. I'll go and track down the third promise. Once you've finished organizing your gear, you can meet us outside. Balevtai. <laughs> Balevtai. All right. Somebody's Yalzev or something. X seems to be pronounced like Y, I think. Like Yalzev. Greetings, visitors to uh, Toriol, and welcome to Four Art Cabins. Whenever you're ready, I will show you to your rooms. Yo, let me see my room! I want to see it! Dude, that's... <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. You want to see the room, man? Yo, where's the surfing minigame? Where's my blitz ball? I mean, I want to I wanna see the rooms. Yeah, let me, let me ask about the room. Oh, wait, wait, let me go into the room. Let's see what we're living with, huh? Ooh, aren't you fancy? Yo, we even got food! We've even got food! Oh, man, look at that food. Look at that fruit baskets. That's beautiful. Look at that. Damn. Comfy feather bed. Yo, I haven't got a place here to lie down! Ah! Uh, oh, I'm probably on favorites, don't I? No, no, face that way. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're loving a little vacation. I love it. <laughs> Do we have like a lie down? No, we just gotta lean back. Look at him. Look at this dude. He looks like he looks less dead now. Maybe he really did need, need a vacation. But damn. Like. Ha! Ah, it's so cozy, man. It's like unbelievably cozy. Like you can sit here as well under the shade. So pretty, so bright, so colorful, so joyous. Ah, I guess we looking forward to my holiday in a few weeks. Uh, well. So yeah, this really just further extends that this would just be a holiday resort for me. Like, this is like... This should be loved and appreciated to a full extent. And if I lived here the whole time, I feel like I'd lose some of that appreciation. If you know what I'm saying? But like, a holiday resort come here once a year. For like a week. Maybe twice, maybe? I don't know. I love it. I love it! Dun, 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 dun. I get all that. Makes me want to return to the cruise, but not there yet. <laughs> Man, I... All good vibes. All good vibes. I mean, there's some there's some butt heads and some two-headed taco destroyers and some wall hangers that we gotta beat up. You know, that's fine. That's fine. We'll get to it. Wish. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, man. Await your companies and embark on the right to succession. Let's see what Ulama has for us then, huh? Let's see what they got for us. Man, when did it become 210? <laughs> Trust you to be the keenest to head out, Lord. I mean, yeah, I sat there for a good minute. But where are Aaron Vell and Wilk Lamont? I wonder. Oh, good. You're all here. Who might your companions be? 
Seeing as we needed information, I thought it were better to get it from than the locals. These two hail from the villagers were thinking to visit. I give you credit for taking initiative at least. <laughs> what do you mean at least? <laughs> I'm honored that the third promise would seek my advice. I too am happy to answer your questions. Any encounter might be an opportunity to do business. Thank you for both your help. Ah, uh, before we begin, there will be doubtless be other occasions where we need to act independently. So I bought these for the two of you. Link pearls? Have they have they been have they unlocked link pearls? Have they unlocked Link Pearls? What's this? This is called a Link Pearl. Yeah! <laughs> They've unlocked. Welcome to the party where Alphano calls you every five fucking minutes. <laughs> Matt does not leave that phone line silent for a second. Nah, don't matter what you're doing. Don't matter if he calls you five minutes ago. He's ringing you up again like, Hey, did you know we got this going on now? But don't worry, he's a true bro. He cares a lot. A, a gemstone harvested from a special shell. When linked together, they allow people to communicate across great distances. Is that so? What a handy thing to have. Envil's I'm muting this right now. <laughs> I am putting you all on that block contact button. It'll be very useful in our travels. Speaking of which, I should get back to introducing my two new friends here. The Tolyol Saga features a number of Taran's clans. Two of those, the Hanuhanu and the Pe uh, Pelo Pelo, have settlements relatively close to the city, so I bought a representative of each. As I mentioned before, the Hanu are a cheerful people who love their festivals. They make their appearance in the Lay of Reeds, and their home village, Okay Hanu, is located in Kazamauka. The other smaller fellow is one of the Pelo, a clan of business minded folk from Okwa Pacha. They appear in the Lay of Gold and craft all kinds of marvelous goods in Wacho Pelo, their village. Now, as for deciding which village to visit first, why don't you put that adventurous instinct of yours to work with us? Pick a destination. Oh, okay. A branch? Okay. This means there will branch into two quest paths. Accepting this quest from the helpful Hanu will temporarily prevent you from accepting the quest from the Pillow and vice versa. The second quest path will become available from the respective NPC once you've completed the quest. Okay. Okay, we had one of these before as well, I believe, uh, when it came to pick and what twin. Story elements and quest rewards will not be affected by your initial choice of path. Speak to the NPC you prefer and embark on the trail for the right of secession. Yeah! That's awesome. I mean, I'm going to have to go with my <laughs> Final Fantasy X2 representation here, right? I got it. You know, I don't get much representation from my favorite in the series, so this is the best I'm getting right now. The quest to Kazuma Uka will become available once you've completed this quest series, beginning with the approachable Pelu. There we go. Oh no, not the... <laughs> oh no, it's the fiends! It's the fiends! What is it you'd like to know? The main concern was confirming the state of the road ahead. As I recall, to reach Urquapacha, we depart from the Ark of the Dawn and take the road west of the First Fork. Should we be wary of anything along the way? That is indeed the way to Urquapacha. After the damage wrought by the recent downpour, however, you'll be doing more stumbling than walking. But do take heart, when it comes to rugged terrain, we have a most dependable solution available. Come with me! Alright. Ready to use to make sure keep up with payments up before we... I mean, that's a smart move, bro. That is completely... A smart move. That's a lot of what we've done here, uh, me personally as well. Just make sure I'm on top of anything payment-wise before I make any decision. That's you know, for kind of that's gonna hit me financially. At least again, add up to the financial. Well, but, uh, which one then pay off for like the next number of months? So yeah, smart move that one. Absolutely smart move. We'll be back to talk to you in good time, friend Hanu. Meanwhile, you can eat and drink your fill. Value of time. It's all been arranged. <laughs> I don't mind. I enjoy. Things you can eat and things you cannot eat. The qu queen is just in my <laughs> fucking spirit at this point. <laughs> ah. No, I need a stretch. Yo yeah. Oh, that felt good. I feel like a new man. I feel like I can lift that giant fucking entrance. 
Especially buying a house on to be sure. Absolutely, man. And you're, you're taking the smart and right, bro. I applaud you for that, honestly. Because things are very tempting. Shiny stuff is very tempting in this world. <laughs> shiny stuff is very... No matter if the shiny is a holiday, a product, you know, food, or whatever. Uh, it, that, that, you know, it's... I mean, the, the Steam Summer Sale. I had to fight off so many sh shinies. The beasts are sure-footed, that's for certain. Why did it have to be alpacas? <laughs> Not the alpacas. Talking to Pelu before we departed was a wise decision. I, for one, would rather not brave a treacherous slippery trail on foot. Look at that. I even did the wise thing just based on favoritism. The Pelu Pelu all by being small is confusing enough. But those masks make it almost impossible to tell man from woman, let alone guess their age. Oh my, are these fluffy babies on mounts? <laughs> Look at the fluffy babies! <laughs> oh, I love it. May I introduce to you our most dependable companion, the alpaca? <laughs> this fearsome beast. <laughs> These animals can traverse Okwapacha's uh, steep mountain trails as if they were gentle fields, and all while carrying heavy loads. Our merchants would be lost without them. So they feel much the same niche as our chocobos back home. You don't have alpacas in Eorzea? <laughs> alpacas are native to York Terrell. Eorzea has its chocobos, and the eastern lands have their horses. Why go to the trouble of breeding another pack of beasts in a place which ill suits its qualities and where it is not needed anyway? Hmm. But must we ride these little monsters? <laughs> I'll push back and say, now I go move to Eorzea. <laughs> Eorzea hasn't got them. I'll move there right now. I get the impression you aren't fond of alpacas. When I was small and the being a bit naughty, I went around falling on their wall. One of them spat on me, and it was the foulest stench you can imagine. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, well, I, I'm sorry that happened to you, but you was pulling on that wall. <laughs> I, I see. Why well, they like to ride? Alpacas bred as mounds are inquisitive and docile. Even those without experience find them easy to handle. We're really doing this then. So, was my information useful to you? I, uh, yes, very helpful. Even if it wasn't what I wanted to hear. Good, I'll take my payment now. You want me to pay you? <laughs> I guess I should expect as much from a Pelo merchant. Let me see what they have on me. The Pelo Pelo value the act of spreading joy through trade. As you should know. They take pride in making deals that benefit both parties. So never, ever ask him for a, a deal, an offer, a favor. Either way, you're going to lose some of that sweet, sweet. Here you go. A fair price for your fair advice. Yes, I made a trade with the third promise herself. My friends would never believe this. I shall be on my way now. I wish you safe travels. Off you go, then. And thank you. Yeah. Put that, put, frame that on the wall. I better not get spit on again. <laughs> You bought that on yourself. Remain calm and gentle, and so will they. Now, don't pull their wool. Good lesson. I'm still not happy about this, but if we need to ride our packers to reach Oropacha, then that's what we'll do. Look at that. Pure bravery from this queen. Pure bravery. Honestly, she, I couldn't. <laughs> Pure bravery. That's off. I mean, that, that's, that's a fear. I mean, that, that, yeah. You know, you're just scared of that nasty, nasty smell. Want to avoid it? Hell yeah. Ooh! To rally poets of your sang of a mountain that would stand tall, even should all other lands sink beneath the sea. Ooh. Indomitable and eternal, it arises from Urko Pacha, the hundred peaks of time. Of all the beasts which crawl and fly, only the legendary Valikarmanda could hope to disturb the summit's serene majesty. 
Yet, with that flying calamity imprisoned by the Dawn Serpent, what great feat remains for those who would claim the throne? Oh, the roll in that grass! Oh, the roll in that grass! Oh my god, dude. This place is good to travel through. So this is Urkopacha. I've never actually been here before. <sighs> the air is so crisp and clear. Insert rain! Fog! Mountains <laughs> everywhere you look. Weather's on my side today. Weather's main character. That one massive peak in particular has quite the presence. It puts me in mind of Som Arl. That is Warkor Sormor, the tallest mountain in Yoktura. Its sheer height makes it an imposing climb. But there are other reasons the ambitious keep their distance. Oh? Oh? Do tell. <sighs> Where to begin? Excuse me, but you're Wuk Lamat, are you not? I, I hadn't thought to encounter one of the Dawn's promise here of all places. Umst. Oh! I think we saw you earlier, right? No, that might be someone else. I don't know. Oh. Uh, but, but I should introduce someone myself. else. I am Bolnook, a weaver by trade. Bolnook. Well met, Bolnook. We're on our way to Watch Bello. Watch Bello. Oh, truly, <laughs> I've just come from there, as it happens. I'd ask the Pelu Pelu who sell me their wool to give me a tour of their alpaca ranch. Not the wool! The head rancher and I shared a bottle of mezcal while he explained the finer points of wool production. Mezcal? Is that a local beverage? It's an Urko Pacha specialty. A spirit made from distilled agave heart juice. Yes, and it must have done wonders for my mood, for I tripled my usual order of alpaca wool. Uh, they did offer me a discount, though, so it wasn't a bad deal in the end. <laughs> ah, but listen to me, boring you with my tedious stories. I, I will leave you before you are lulled to sleep. Uh, goodbye, and safe travels. I like this guy, and you have a name, so I'm going to try and remember that. Oh, well, one more thing. Silly me. I almost forgot to say the thing I actually wanted to say. Peace for Tural. I agree with your vision, Third Promise. You have my support in your bid for the throne. I don't want to do no wool. No, uh, no war. We want peace. I gather from his tale we would be foolish to underestimate Pelu Pelu merchants. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, uh. Yes. They do more than run the markets in Tuliola. Pelu Pelu peddlers can be found everywhere in Turar, traveling from place to place on their sturdy alpacas. Can't mess with the Pelu Pelu! They are effusive and engaging speakers. And many is the customer who's been talked into spending more than they bargained for. Hmm. They won't find this customer so easily charmed. Uh, I don't know about that one. Even Aaron, like you, sure. <laughs> the eyes say it all. On the path, off the main road. Don't get lost. It's right there. <laughs> it is actually right there. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna say it just because I'm hopeful, but like, the, I'm I'm getting like you know like the uh, besaid vibes. <laughs> just just any, anything I can hunch for that Final Fantasy ten goodness. Oh, the grass. Now this place is looking good, man. That's whatever that is over there. Maybe just looking like it may be 
shops and all that stuff, but I want to watch out. The Apacos might kill me, but I do want to hear the uh, battle music. I want to hear the battle music. It might kill me, but I'll take it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, it's been so long since I played. Bumble, if I'm right now, this has like more damage. At least reading at the of the length that I was sent earlier. Sorry, Quail, I don't mean to be hurt the alpacas. It was just Contessa checks. Chain. What was that chain? That was interesting. What was that? I, I don't know if that's new or not, but I've never really seen that. But I haven't killed, like, mobs in forever. The palace crowds are more sensitive of her brothers, but Wilk Lamont's peaceful politics didn't have their quiet adherence, I see. I feel the change in altitude most keenly. While mayhem not to the same degree as the Sea of Clouds, the air is decidedly thin here. I could see more buildings down the path Ball Nook was taken. I wonder what's over that way. Apparently all packers that I'll just beat the hell out of. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This is it. Watch your bellow, home of the Pepaloo. Wooks and Lamont should have arrived before us. But uh, she may have somehow gotten lost. Oh, no, no, she's talking to us. No! No! <laughs> no, she's talking to Oh, she's been charmed. Never let her and the stadium shot together ever again. No, that's not good. <laughs> you can all this way for the right to succession. Oh, so this means I'm exchanging words with the future Dawn Servant. P please, the outcome is far from decided, but it is a possibility. <laughs> Unfortunate. Then an ideal in cloaks woven from a specially luxurious alpaca wool. Such a garment will look magnificent when draped over the shoulders of our booting ruler. <laughs> this back! What a little shit! What a little shit! And a nation's ruler should dress her best for her adoring people, yes? Finery for our finest lady, that's right! Comfort promise, my well-stocked shelves are but a few steps away. Finest lady? <laughs> I like the sound of that. Alright, I suppose a quick look wouldn't hurt. No. <laughs> um, what did we just talk about? I'm a felon, did you? <laughs> no. Step away from the promise! Ah, it's your tone of far off Jacques Terrell. Northern winters are bitly colder for affairs, I'm told. I can imagine how you survived them without a lovely warmer cloak of quality a pack of wool. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm not in need of new clothes at the moment, and neither is the third promise. Perhaps another time. Of course, of course. My shop door is always open. You know what? At least they sod it off when you say no. That's like unheard of. <laughs> you were saying something about not being easily charmed? <laughs> I was just... Oh. Yeah. As I mentioned previously, the Pelo people live for bringing happiness through trade. They won't cheat you or sell you defective goods. They will, however, disarm you with their deft turns of phrase. And unwitting customers like Wook Lamont fall prey to the after all approach time and time again. Your only resource is a clear and firm refusal. They won't pursue the matter should you make your disinterest plain. That's like solid though. Because like they'll do their best, you know, they'll shoot their goddamn shot and they got a good ass aim. But like if you say no, they're like, okay, you know, like I I accept your no and like that that's and they fuck off. So <laughs> that's pretty good. A valuable insight into the minds of the Palapulu. Let us all take Aramville's word of caution to heart. Agreed. The sync nod. <laughs> Complete! Yeah. Awesome. The volume balancing when it turns to these audios is not great though. 
Like in cutscene, it'll be lower, but even if there's no voice, and then I'll get out, and some tracks will be loud, and some tracks will be quiet. It's kind of becoming very hard to balance. <laughs> um, but what I will do is turn BGM up slightly more. Like that. Just slightly. We'll see how that goes. I swear, I let out to my side for one moment. Look, Lamont is lucky to have lucky to have Arabelle. Everyone, royalty especially, needs a friend unafraid to chide them when the need arises. Very true. Yeah, so say yeah, real life people, you say no, they'd be like, oh please, uh, come on, come on, come on, please, come look, come on. I'm like and you're like, no, no, thank you, please go away. And they're like, come on, it's it's, it's the greatest t-shirt to have ever seen. I believe you. This t-shirt would be you're like, no! Fuck. <laughs> Get out of here. I'd like to sell you a fuel card. I'd like to tell you that fuck. <laughs> but seeing the Palpula also passed with the coffee. Good evaluation. All these houses and buildings made to Palpula size. And mine too, come to think of it. <laughs> yeah, they are tiny. Whoa, look at that. Boggy doing ain't fitting for all that. Oh, I love this place. Mainly because of my Final Fantasy. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. Traders of happiness. Walmart is ready to search out the Dawn Seven Selector. Not my finest moment, I'll admit, but now that we're here, let's do what we came to do. Find the Elector. Allow me to propose a strategy then. Carl, Alistair and I will speak with the merchants. Will Clamart, you and Aravel might try approaching travellers and passers-by. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. Lord, pray investigate any of the other establishments which catch your eye. So we learn art of use, let us relate to the third promise. Good deal, good plan. So basically, let's take stock of the situation! Also known as gathering information around the goody the place. I need to know if I can get this outfit. <laughs> so I can run around as the purest trader and then I could use that as my pirate glamour. <laughs> and that would be fun! True merchant right there. In there counting the boxes. Just a lot of life to the NPCs. I, I, re I really appreciate it. What was that? Big drum? Electors? Oh yes, I've heard all about the right of succession. They're looking to put a new ruler on the throne, eh? Personally, I'm rooting for Zaraja. You what? If the first promise wins, he'll look to expand our sphere of influence. That means access to more resources and more customers. In the thousands, Carlin potentially. So many new trading opportunities to spread happiness far and wide. Others have been coming around to my way of thinking, so I've been on crafting goods inspired by the resilient sun. Would you care to purchase something? Uh, 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 no, p please, please answer my question. I beg of you, please, please, please! Oh, no, or not. Gotta say no first and then I'll answer. You know what I'm saying? Very well, you said you wanted to know about the Elector. I could help you, but I won't. I can't tell, I can tell you no supporter of Zoro Zhao or his policies. Damn, fuck you then. <laughs> Screw that then. And while person again saying that would benefit from paying them a crate. <laughs> what? That's a match. <laughs> That's a match, no for you. That's crazy. That's a mad da 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 da. Is my stuff? Okay, it is though. Oh yeah, face wear is a thing. Yeah, does eye patch come under that? So then I can put like a fedora onto my blue. Look at the fluffy creatures! Hello there, I'm my blue. Did you have a question for me? Sorry, I don't know about any electors. You should take a moment to see our prize our packers before you leave, though. Oh, but be sure to admire them from a respectable distance. Get too close and the nervous darlings may be tempted to spit on you. And that stuff stinks. You hear that, Whip Lamont? <laughs> Keep your distance and they're alright. It happened to a visiting buyer not so long ago. 
Totally. That's the head rancher was so mad at me for not giving him a proper warning. No one mis makes a mistake without Tobley noticing. He knows everything that happens on this ranch. Not so long ago. How long ago was she being naughty, Wook? <laughs> I gotta ask. Okay. Interesting one, that one. A little bit of info there, but nothing too deep. What, what can I get from you? <laughs> you know, you might have weapons. You might have something. No, you got nothing for me. Well, I haven't looked at... Um, what's the gun looking like? Ooh, there's just a little detail there that you can't really spot from afar, but the blue that goes around it. You know, fist back to the monk root. Damn, those aren't fists. Those are killers. I'll dye them red. The blood of my enemies! I didn't unlock anything, did I, that I need to... Yeah, da, 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 da. No, okay. I did not. I did not at all. 42... <laughs> People say some weird stuff, man. People... Do some weird stuff. The Down Servant Selector? Ah, I thought you were a new face in town. Here for the right of succession, I take it. Me, I don't care who sits a front so long as I keep Terrell peaceful. People tend to not be in the mood to relax and sip our excellent mess call once arrows and spears stop flying, if you know what I mean. Speaking of which, would you like a cup? A joy shed is a joy doubled, I say. No, I'm good. It's okay, I pre appreciate the question. All right, yes, you're asking about the Elector business. Being but freshly returned from my trading route, I've heard that there's a contest afoot, but not much else. A head lodger, Tarbill, could probably tell you more about it. Okay. Well, we now we got the head lodger's name, Tarbill. We also got that from the previous conversation, but we also got to learn just how a little bit more how hands on they are. So, we can see uh, where, we, where it goes from here. You really have to watch yourself around these silver tongued peddlers. I almost bought a bottle of mezcal and a sack of blankets. And then there was this enchanting ornament. Uh, anyway, I did manage to learn that Tobil is the man to talk to about the contest. Now, only if they shared where this head ledger of theirs is to be found. Really? He's also the head rancher? Well, the Apaco Ranch is not far from here. I say we paid a visit before the others return. I get. Is that the other building that was up there, or is it somewhere else? Oh, down here, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 2.40 a.m. Well, 2.38, 2.40 rounded up, you know what I'm saying. Yeesh. But I'll tell you what, after having a nice break from this game, it's like really giving me just a nice, like fresh, I'm like, damn, look at this game, you know? Just trying to get through from all the way from Heaven's Ward all the way down to Endwalker. And I was like, go, 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 go. And it definitely, I, I feel like it put me out more than I actually realized, to be honest. Which is crazy. Because I enjoyed them, don't get me wrong. But I didn't realize uh, going through them like that, like the, the impact they had on me. <laughs> that is a lot of alpacas. Still, we know the head lodger could be here somewhere. I can't let fear deter me. N not to say that I'm scared, of course. <laughs> well, you're a different color. Hi! <laughs> Excuse me, is one of these workers to Bill? To Bill? Oh, yes, he likes to mingle with the ranch hands. And keep an eye on things. I can't tell you which one he is, though. You can't? Is this part of the contest? All I can say is that Tabil often mentioned his favorite pungent subject. He also can't resist a profitable trade. Though who among us could? Am I right? Still, if you bring him a very good deal, he might let his identity slip. Heh, <laughs> so it's like a game. Easy enough. All I have to do is offer Tabil a deal he can't ignore. No problem at all. Well, maybe one problem. <laughs> I don't think my purse is deep enough to pay everyone we might think is to Bill. <laughs> Let's ask some questions first, narrow down the field. Great, we can be back here to share impressions. <laughs> the raids are fun as hell, that is great to hear. That is amazing, I'm glad you've had a good time doing those raids. <laughs> Fair play. Fair for coming through with the caps of raids are fun as hell, now that, that's what I want to hear. 
people are just odd pushing and I mean a lot of time you know you know they're kind of forced to but the strange deals especially some of the, the weird scam shit people try to do online as well it's mad Dun, 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 dun. All right, more speaking. See so if we can try and get this figure down. You know, you think I might be terrible? <laughs> well, maybe I am. What I will say is that in this village, none have reared more alpacas than I. Okay. Hmm. Am I to Bill? That uh, yes, yeah, yes, that's me. Excellent work from the third promise in her entourage. Sharp instincts. So we can miss the right of succession then. Ah, <laughs> uh, that one's not very uh believable. I'll sniff out the head ledger in a heartbeat. You'll see. Okay. I believe you. I believe you. Truly. Ah, oh, is it a visitor from across the salt, if I'm not mistaken? Be warned, the alpacas will spit if you startle them. I suggest you keep your movement slow and deliberate. Hmm. I feel like it's Malibu for the simple fact that everyone else is in the same color and you're in this. <laughs> Malibu, you're playing games with me. <laughs> well, obviously I'm not Tabil. I mean, oops, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> you're gonna find out for yourself who Tabil is. Or if an Electra is even in the village at all. Good luck. Well, I feel like they want it to be obvious by me voting to this one. But, uh, well, uh, uh well, I'll see how it is. I feel like it's too obvious there, but I'll shoot my shot. I will shoot my shot. I see we both done with our interrogations. So, who do you think it is? I have my suspicions, but let's hear your pick. The diligent ranch hand, the boastful ranch hand, the nonchalant ranch hand. Well, I mean, none of them is who I wanted to pick, so. <laughs> um. Uh, I feel like it's a trick question here because you know a head guy. You know I think we. You know he's gonna be like, you know, s smart and all that. But what if he's the boastful one? What if? Nigelan is a decent guess too. Hmm. Gonna feel like I'm getting played with. These guys are players, you know. These buddies play. Let's go in none. Hmm, he seemed unconvincing to me, but if that's your choice, then that's who I'll talk to. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> ah. Oh boy. Dolly, I offer you a deal. The truth of who you are in exchange for a tidy sum. What do you say? Ah, huh? great. I say, hand over the coin. The truth is, I'm not even a ranch hand. I just like to come by and watch the alpaca. Great. What? You don't even work here. I knew I should have gone my gut on this one. But now's not the time to mourn wasted coin. We need to regroup and rethink this. <laughs> not the coin. Not the coin. Doesn't even work here. They don't even work here. All right, fine. The boastful. It can't be the diligent one. That's too off. It can't be. That loud boastful fellow. I suppose he could be to Bill. One way to find out. Oh boy. Nothing will make me happier than knowing your identity. So how about we make a deal and you tell me the truth? I have money. <laughs> Look here. Ta-da! <laughs> then I agree to your trade. Done and done. As for part of the bargain, I am not the bill. Not the head ledger and not the head rancher. Just a tumble ranch hand. Uh, maybe it's none of them, you know. You're not him. Damn me, Lord, I trusted you. <laughs> that coin could have bought me 300 gourmet tacos. <laughs> why would you trust me? I'm an idiot. I can't see how there's a reason why I got one eye patch, bro. No. I can't let this tackle tragedy distract me from what matters most. We need to determine which one is the bell. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mook. I'm sorry. It's probably not. I. There's no way this is them. 
Ah, so the worker is so intent on stable chores. I had my eye on that one too. Time to rinse the mask off at Mystery Ranch Hand, so to speak. <laughs> if it actually is the one I thought it was, I'm gonna cry. Because I thought like that'd be too obvious. We know it's you, Sibili. <laughs> totally. And to prove it, I propose a deal. A generous sum of coin for the confirmation of your true identity. An offer I gladly accept. As you have correctly guessed, I'm indeed to It literally was like the most obvious one. It was the most obvious one. And I thought the game was playing tricks on me. I THOUGHT THEY WAS PLAYING TRICKS ON ME! COME ON! <laughs> I've been messed around too many times, bro. You gotta understand this, Queen. Please, don't throw me back out there. <laughs> don't make me leave. I'm good with a sword, I promise. I promise. I'm no brains, just swords. I, pl I pr promise. I promise. <laughs> the head ledger of Wachu Fellow and head rancher at the family ranch. I also wonder if Gulo Jaja has chosen Electors. Aha! Uh -huh. Inner place features in the Tolio Saga, just as we thought. Though it took more coin than I would have liked to know for certain. Uh, I'm sorry! <laughs> I thought it wasn't the obvious pick. Uh. She found you out fair and scared, Tarbell. And I'm glad she did. Would have been a pity had her bit ended here. Yeah, I've been played. I have been played like a Kyber against Yugi. Deducing the Don Servant's Elector was the first step of defeat. Too simple a task for this aspiring ruler, <laughs> eh? Right. Not hard at all. Oh no. Oh. The skilled warrior that once wore. I am told the head ledger, Tobli, is to be found here. Uh, nope. You have to guess which one of us is Tobli. That's part of the test. Hmm. Someone's about to cheat way their way through this system. <laughs> you! Oh my. No way! Damn! You're totally. Without even asking a single question. What Very the fuck? Indeed. What the fuck? I'm using prologue out of the way. We can proceed to the actual challenge. What is this? That's bull. Per the Don Servant's instructions, I was free to devise any manner of feat. I considered the number of possibilities in the tenth column. But I think I have a good one. You must go forth and capture for me an alpaca. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a crew to go after alpacas, honestly. <laughs> While I've not had the best experiences with alpacas, aren't they generally docile creatures? That doesn't sound like much of a challenge. <laughs> Bring out the example. <laughs> you can't lizard stare this out. See how you are capturing an alpaca. <laughs> He's so fluffy, I want to die. Kind of alpaca. Would you please approach the animal, third promise? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who? Me? Well, it should stay calm if I stay calm, right? That's what oh, I'm no. Like. The music says it all. 
music says it all. being both extremely curious and extremely cowardly. My god! Press your luck when they're frightened and you'll get a face full of spit. As you've all just witnessed. Has an awful stench, their expectoration. She's the dead. They have digested food, you see, making it an effective deterrent against perceived threats. Well, questions will never be known. Wild valley breed like this one are especially timid and can therefore be quick to lash out. <laughs> They're also especially hardy. Indeed. We take the rugged wild alpacas and breed them with our gentle domesticated stock. This produces the strong but beatable pack animals prized by our traveling merchants. <sighs> oh, she's alive! That's <laughs> all well and good. But did I need to bathe an alpaca spit for you to make your point? Yeah, this isn't gonna go well in uh So the task is to catch a wild alpaca. That is correct. But be warned that it is a feat easier said than done. I suggest you prepare well before you enter the valley where the creatures dwell. And by you, I mean the claimants only. Allies are not permitted to assist with the catching. The alpacas will help me judge which of you is worthy of receiving a keystone. It's us! Us! The master so I'm to chase of catching down alpacas. A fluffy, spitting demon. Yep. And that somehow proves I'm fit to rule? Yep. Don't worry about it. <laughs> As I said. The Dawn Servant granted me the freedom to decide my challenge. Down to all of you are a menace! Right. I dare say you will understand why a demon. I chose what I chose. Oof. Oh, we've got intentions. Oh, we've got intentions. I need to stand up a moment a bit, but I need to... I've been sitting down for a while. Very well. This won't take long. Nah, he's gonna. He has to suck at it. Come on. Wait. <laughs> Didn't I warn you this was easier said than done? There are preparations to be made, factors to consider. He was just get it. A beast. All yield to strength. Damn. I mean, he goes kind of hard though, but it, uh, he, he, he wants. He's what he wants more. His ambitions aren't great, so we need to work. Uh, so far, this experience has done absolutely nothing to improve my opinion of alpacas. But that doesn't mean I can't do this. Revolting spit aside, they're just another animal. Exactly. No mind that death, instant death hitting debuffing Spit of doom, you know? That's nothing! You know, it's, it's nothing, it's nothing but a thing! Are you alright, Orclamart? <laughs> we thought we heard you scream. She died. The third promise does not scream. It was more of a startled yelp. <laughs> uh, scream, in other words. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you find the Elector? Yeah. Oh, we certainly did. We got, then we got spat on by an alpaca, and now we gotta go capture one. This is great. This is good for us. This is this is wonderful. This will go well. Sure. I mean, I went out there and killed too. It's all like, what's wrong with just going, yo, come with me. Come with me, bro. You know, like, what what, what could be... What could be so, ba so bad in that? I did say remaining calm was key, but the same rules don't apply to wild alpacas. 
Yeah, could have left that out. You could have, you could have kept, you could have told us that. So this is our sought after elector. Zoroja puts me in the mind of Gaumont's own exalted son. Of the two, though, Xenos was undeniably more arrogant. Damn. His name comes back again. We cannot avoid him. We've not tossed him aside and called it a day. He is by the name is back. Uh, Xenos was a god. Uh, Judging by the volume of Wilmot's scream, our pack of expectoration must have a nasty odor indeed. I'm content to remain ignorant of the smell. <laughs> Good move! I've done my duty and assigned the climb to their feet. The rest is up to them. I was impressed by how easily Zarajal found to build, but also sort of frightened. He cheated! That's, that's all. He, he cheated. Kind of. Ah, more female hoof cars! They all look so good! I, I had to go and wash that nasty stuff off of my face. I think I got all of it. But would you mind taking a sniff for me just to make sure? The stench has ruined my sense of smell. <laughs> Not all the smell's gone. She died and now we gotta, we gotta give her a sniff. Alright. Oh. Hey, I saw that lock. <laughs> I accidentally right clicked. God damn it. Well, now you smell like shit. <laughs> There you are. I'm just gonna do quickly uh, do a quick stand up and a quick stretch. I've been sitting down for a bit, so uh, just give me a, a moment, y'all. Just a quick one. It is required. It is needed. Oh, it's been a, a longish sitting. I mean, longish. I mean, I've been sitting down and say so for like four hours sixteen. Okay, maybe I'll go. Oh. I did not realize how stiff I was feeling. Shit. That, <laughs> that out of context is awful. <laughs> that, that out of context is awful. I meant my back and my butt at least. Jesus. I'm just stretching. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, sitting down for four hours and only just feeling like the pain ain't too bad. <laughs> I'm so old! Fuck! I used to be able to sit for fucking ten hours and not feel a thing. But maybe it's the chair, though. Maybe it's slightly too thin that it needs to be on the on the seat. But damn! Don't worry, we'll cheer up. We'll cheer up. Walk with a smell. We we we'll we'll, we'll do it. <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. Right. 
probably okay then. Ah, yeah, that feels better. Sometimes you just gotta get up and give yourself a quick stretch, you know? Can't be gaming too hard with these old bones! <laughs> with these old, 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 old bones. Uh, where am I? Here I am. Hello! Right, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. So, uh, can you smell it? <laughs> be honest. Yes, I could, I could smell you. It's <laughs> especially right there! <laughs> It smells really bad right there. <laughs> oh, hand gear. Okay. As Uglamar helped demonstrate, the Valley of Paco are wary of people. Getting close enough to catch one will not be an easy task. You might have warned me about that earlier. I have enough trouble with Team of Paco, so don't expect me to wrangle a wild one. <laughs> With the proper saddle, we infuse the liver with a relaxing scent that smooths this sm spitting beast. <laughs> Wonderful, give me one of those then. <laughs> Have you perhaps forgotten we are a clan of merchants? If you want a taming saddle, then you need to find a saddler and make them an offer. They don't come cheap, of course. Creating a saddle will cost you the equivalent of 10 pen in the thousands column. <laughs> You mean 10,000 pell? I don't have that kind of coin! Converting a girl, that comes to around a million or so. May hip of real pitch in. No, no, this is my feat to accomplish. I wouldn't feel right about having others pay the cost. I'll find the money, somehow. I thought it was about to be better call, call up Tataru. <laughs> be like, yo, Tataru, can we borrow some money from the Bank of the Science if that still exists? Either way, all that money is somewhere. You know that clothing business you're running? Can we have a little bit of that money from your clothing business? Um, and see how that goes, but I don't know mind. What wants to take it on alone? Fair play. Absolutely fair play. <laughs> In that case... Huh? That basket of wool is worth the sum you paid me earlier. One bell in the hundreds column. Beginning with the wall, you can trade for even more valuable goods until you have something suitable to bargain with the saddle. Damn, I got we're going for the whole trade experience now. That's crazy. That's a nice gesture, but do you think I could turn a hundred pell into a million? That's ten thousand times more. We need ten thousand pell, not a million. <laughs> so we're looking at a hundred times more. <laughs> oh, right. I panicked and got confused with Alphanos Million Girl. <laughs> I was like, hold on, that that doesn't sound right. But uh, yeah, got, got confused. All right. You're just getting me confused then. I'm not so sure about this trading idea. You almost talked into buying a cloak. You didn't need me at moments after you arrived. But I just don't. God, I, I, I hate it when you're right. <laughs> then let me help you with your deal making. Oh, uh, hello again. Um. <laughs> I work here as a ranchan, but I also learned a lot about the peddler profession. Don't worry, Luke. Me too. I'm all for my names. Don't you worry about it. It's alright if I hear them now, yes? I guide you the claimants towards the first step of the feat, like you asked. As long as Wuklamat goes alone to capture her apaka, she is free to accept assistance from whoever she likes. Hooray! Alright, so let's see about getting you the saddle then. Third promise. I don't know where you made your offer, but I could use an ally with a beak for bargains. Welcome aboard, Mablu. <laughs> Should the rest of us stay behind, perhaps? It may be easier to haggle over prices without so many voices chiming in. Yeah, stay here and pitch in with the ranch work. With <laughs> Mablu gone, I need extra hands to tend to the apacas. <laughs> Help with the chores! Gladly. Although, Lord, I think you should go with Wukla Mat. No! I wanna help, I wanna brush to them. I wanna, I wanna bathe them, I wanna brush them, I wanna help floof them up. But I know Carl's looking for, I loves the idea of this, because, you know, she loves the alpacas. You see markets and bazaars over the, the world over, and surely have sage advice to share. No, 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 no. Remember when I helped with the fish? We didn't sell the fish. We, we didn't do all that. Remember when we did the fish? 
In that case, you should also hold on to the Apaka wall. If it is misplaced or sold in some way, you'll have nothing to bargain with. <laughs> As if I do such a thing! But at least the, the wall will load anyway. The better to keep my hands free. <laughs> Fwah! Got it! To begin, I suggest to try trading the wall to Havley, the saddler. He won't agree to the deal, of course, but it'll give us an idea how much he'll accept for his wares. For the AM. Straight ahead? Yeah, straight ahead. <laughs> Walk versus alpacas is a never ending rivalry. And I gotta see I, I gotta see how this all comes to a conclusion. <laughs> how this ends. <laughs> I'm sure we'll win. Sure we win. Let's we'll see how it goes. The witch is our Is it really possible to make a hundred times what that wool is worth just for trading? Yep, yep, yep. Crazy trading system. It's crazy the business world. Crazy, but I didn't do well with fish, so maybe this is my time to make up for it. This is the artisan who makes that taming sad th taming saddles. Hello, Havley. Havley Jabley. Oh. Something I could do for you. We've come to bargain. I need one of your special taming saddles to catch a wild alpaca. A saddle, is it? How much will he be paying for? <laughs> With his basket of fine alpaca wool. <laughs> oh, doesn't seem impressed. What use does a saddle maker have for wool? Besides, this would rarely cover the cost of a single strap buckle. Offer me something I actually want. Alright, well, the wall didn't work. And what might that be? Mezcal. I like to nurse a cup at day's end while I inspect while in Oh. I like to nurse a cup at day's end while I inspect my finished work. Bring me a jug of quality stuff and you got yourself a deal. That's all the way down there. This world's well for us, Fed Promise. Such mezcal can be had for only five pell in the thousands column. Hold on, hold on. Did you say third promise? Then my offer has changed. The saddle is going to cost you a jug of premium mezcal. It's three years of the... Oh my god. That's unbelievable. That is... Look at that fucking smile. <laughs> <laughs> what a little shit. It's the, yeah, got him cured. The third promise. Oh, this is gonna give me some bank. <laughs> Three years. That stuff is valued at 10,000 pell or more. Why have you doubled the price? Because I must support the man of ambition who'll see my business prosper. Zorochar will go to war and his cavalry will need saddles. Lots of saddles. It's nothing personal, third promise, but I won't sell you my craft for anything less than my asking price. Damn. These Zoral job followers, man. Oh, damn. We should just wear a costume of him. That'll work. Let's cosplay. This is a big hench war lizard. Can't say that I blame him. A known for a champion at peace, and peace is unlikely to bring him more customers. True. Those of our grandparents' generation remember the dark days when the clans were at war. Many of these fellow pray for your victory, Wukwamat. The younger ones, though, to them, strife and bloodshed are as children's stories. They think themselves safe on these horrors and take the peace we now enjoy for granted. Still, others are unsatisfied with this quiet prosperity and crave the future the second promise envisions. They become obsessed with innovations like the dirigibles that have made trade swift, easy. swift and easy. And then you have those like Havli, convinced that the first promise's plans for conquest will afford them opportunities for great profit. But what about you, Mablu? Aren't you of the younger generation? At least a year or two younger than me, I'd say. Oh, I was raised on the old tales. I'll memorize the accounts of what it was like when the Yog Hui ruled that village. That's why I offer to help. 
I want you to become Dawn Servant to keep our nation from going back to the way it was. <laughs> Aww. Well then, I, I guess I better make sure I win the contest. But the type of mezcal the saddle maker wants is so very expensive. Heh. <laughs> Where do we expect him to meet 10,000 people out from the outset? Nothing's changed, we just need to get on with it. I may not have a head for trade or the stomach for alpacas, but I won't give up the piece of a you on the line. Aww, queen! Then neither will I. We will make you Dawn Servant. Any for that 10,000 pell joke right away will only bring us failure and frustration. So first, let's try exchanging the wall for anything, even a touch more valuable. The trick is to find someone who, who needs alpaca wall and is willing to trade at a loss to acquire it. Someone who supports your bid for the throne, for instance. Hmm. Ah, boy! Is it Beck Luke? Bok Luke? It was one of them! <laughs> oh, everybody, I forgot your name! <laughs> Beck Luke! Oh, what is the worst one like that? Bolnock! Com completely fucking wrong. Of course, the Weaver. Bolnock was his name, I believe. He went out of his way to say he agreed with my vision and he was there to buy wool. I think I remember the direction he was going. But for now, let's head back to the road where we first met him. Alright, cool. Let's get him! Palo Palo is a bunch of shit bags and all of them. <laughs> but at least they'll say no if you don't want their stuff. But goddamn. Ah, oh, so you're the third promise, are you? Well, now I need a premium drink! <laughs> With a fucking smirk on their face. It's crazy. Welcome back. Hope you had a good time, Jopla. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, that's only up there. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Alpaca. You will be captured for Wuglama. This is the spot. After Paul Nook, uh, Paul Nook talked to us, he walked off to the south. Then he was probably going to Ecorvo's Inn. Most visitors are watching him or end up staying there. Let's go and check, shall we? Bum, 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 bum. I haven't done the other branch yet. This is the uh, first branch at the moment. That I went with. The other guy is sitting back at the end having a good time. Da da da. Like a good time. 313. Beautiful. 75% through the other one. Fair play, fair play. Oh, it's been so fun. <laughs> it's been so damn fun. Alright, big fucking dragon. The, the, watching the queen do, do her thing. Just sitting back and be like, yeah, we will help work, but... Everyone else their thing. And Kral's love for our packers is truly... Beautiful. Oh, I believe that... Are they wearing that? No, they're wearing something else. They're not wearing... Uh, I've glamorized it, but they're not wearing that. Oh, update gear set. Uh, yeah, okay. I did put them all on. Hello, Bolnook. My good sir. Bro, those tacos, bro. My soul! And this asshole! <laughs> this egotistical jack has broke us tacos, and then we couldn't even have the tacos. Wook's still low on stomach right now. Wook is doing all of this on a low stomach. Maybe we remember. We're all hungry. And those poor tacos. And then he cut to one someone else eating the taco. Like, oh, that could have been us. Can I have that basket, Lord? Oh, here you go. There's the wall. Oh, shit. There you go. Thanks. Then let's see if we can turn a profit. Come on, honestly. Don't ask me to do it. I don't need the fish situation again. Leave it to you. Leave it to you. Uh, leave it to you. Well, look, I'm, uh, I'm glad we found you. Are you interested in making a trade? Fed promised you. You wish to do business with me? Might I ask what this is all about? Well, you see... We're dealing with the Palo Palo. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the challenge to do, and Mr. Lizard over there can't just stare at our pack until it wins, alright? I'm not having it. I see. So the goal is to turn that basket of wool into a jug of a three-year-old premium mezcal. Then allow me to invest in your efforts. 
You are a legend amongst you. Oh, of course. People, humans, everything. A lot of fells. You're the best. You're the best around. No one's ever gonna keep me down. Peace and trials allows me to cross freely into the lands of my suppliers. Naturally, I would prefer that one pledged to preserve that peace with the throne. Thus do I humbly offer you this wool poncho, a small token that I pray contributes to your victory. Oh, that's fine craftsmanship. A garment like that would easily fetch five pell in the hundreds column. That's very, very generous, Bono. Thank you. I promise I won't let you down. I have every faith in you, Third Promise. May fortune bless your future dealings. You! You're invited to the wedding. There's not a wedding yet, but you're invited to it. I can't believe you couldn't support your investment with your first deal. We're off to a spectacular start. Ah, <laughs> uh, you should know more than I ever could. Only because Lord Renemir now we have a friend. All I did was hand over the wool. That's not true. The connections you build with people are vital. This is one of the most fundamental precepts of trading. One which you've instinctively mastered. <laughs> you, you think so? <laughs> I know so. Now let's take a 500 pal poncho and trade it for something even more valuable. Here Lord, you take the poncho. If I lose it somehow, Evanville would never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> It'd give you that side eye. You get that side eye from Aaron, you never walk again. You probably still smell like shit as well. So you're hungry, you smell like shit from that fucking, from the spit, and you're still going. All set, the next deal is waiting to be found. <laughs> what? Success, you have traded a 100 pal basket of a pack of wool for 500 pal one poncho. Hell yeah. Didn't expect that type of pop up. Shot the life out of me. Leveraging connections is a sound strategy, but we would also consider supply and demand. An individual in urgent need of a good poncho will offer more than a merchant simply looking to stock his shelves. That to make sense, but how do we know if someone needs a poncho? They they aren't wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> If they're not wearing one, they need it! <laughs> you, sir, you're not wearing a poncho! May I present to you... A poncho! <laughs> well, Brad is a smart man. Let's see. They don't have this. So clearly they need it. They have a fabulous sense of style. You, good sir, you look like you've got the top of the gear outfit from the market board. How would you like a poncho? Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Yes, they have a fabulous sense of style. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice sturdy poncho, but the design is traditional. I don't think fashion is part of its appeal. No, no, this, no, Bright ain't improved from his days of selling fish. He, he's, no. <laughs> this is why Luke, Luke Lamont's doing it instead of us. <laughs> Suddenly, those people with practical need would be interested. Wait, that's the obvious answer, isn't it? We look for a person without the poncho and hope that we get to find <laughs> I love it so much. Fucking. <laughs> so, someone over there walking around without a poncho, right? Imagine. <laughs> Do you need a poncho? Just sprint at them. Do you need a prawn? <laughs> Do you need a poncho? Freaking hell. <laughs> My god. Love it. Yes, there you go. We'll find the demand for our supply. So, where should we begin our search for prospective buyers? There are any number of places, but we could do worse than starting right here at the inn. There might be interested travelers. <laughs> hmm. Who here needs a poncho? A lot of Mamoja hardly wear anything to begin with. Those are probably Landsguard or Sellswords. Mamoja, who soldier for a living, prefer not to wear much above the waist. 
It hampers their movements. Nah, they just like their titties out, bro. <laughs> oh, they like to have those muscle titties. They don't mind hampering movements. So even if they bear shoulders, mammal jaw carrying arms can be struck off the list. <laughs> yeah. All right. Find a potential customer. Oh, I was not. <laughs> That Mamojo is armed. <laughs> Could be a double courier. I've seen them flying their waves, and those ties aren't fond of excessive clothing either. Okay. I thought I'd get to move the camera. What does Mablo say? Tell me, who among these gathered travelers do you think might be amendable to a, pro to a proposal? So that professional fighters like those would have little interest. Though the same could be said of any Terrell who prioritizes ease of movement in their work. You look naked as fuck. What about you? <laughs> oh, you're pretty good. <laughs> I see no cart or clock, but also no weapon. Oh, we might have a winner. Oh, there, friend. You're not a mercenary by trade, right? I was curious about your bold choice of dress or lack thereof. Ah, oh, it was no choice of mine, believe me. I was attacked by beasts on the way here and barely escaped with my scales intact. My coat was not so lucky. <laughs> I'm actually a toolmaker from Toliel and was dressed quite smartly. All the better to show the pillow. I'm a man who takes pride in his appearance, and therefore his work as well. But now look at me! Look at me! <laughs> well, sir, this is your lucky day. <laughs> hey, you want a poncho? <laughs> I'm not even the tradesman. I'm just the person who gives them out now. What a splendid poncho! This would be the perfect replacement for the coat I lost. We'd be willing to part with it if you'd like to make a trade. For one of your fine tools, perhaps. How about this hatchet? I crafted it myself and will vouch for its quality. Nice. We're making bank now. The blade looks sharp. The haft well made. I'd value it on one pell in the thousands column. Getting there. A oh, hop on 500 to 1000. We have a deal. Oh, wonderful. A fine garment such as this should put me on even footing with any pelu merchant. Like the eponymous, own eponymous owner of Maple who's made garden for one. The field hands use hatchets to harvest the, harvest the mate. I thought to impress it with the tool I sold you. <laughs> no matter, I have other wares to sell. Glad I am to meet you. I am a sexy poncho wearing beast of a man. <laughs> Did you hear that? We'd have found the next buyer. To me, please, mate, guard, and we go. Yes, but it's a fair distance on foot. We should take our packers. <laughs> These ones will be the comp type, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do I look like I know what's happening here? <laughs> yeah! Success, you have traded 500 pal ball punch of 4,000 pal hatchet. You know, it's funny because I, I could see why people wouldn't like this. If they wanted something that was like, I don't know, more intense and just, ah! But I'm like, yeah, this is. This is what I wanted, man. It's what I needed. It's what I needed! Well done recognizing that Toolmaker as a potential customer. If you don't mind to change professions, you'd make an excellent merchant. Why are you looking at me? I just gave him the item. That's it. Yeah! Hell yeah. How, how these hands look? Oh, it's the mountain ones. Oh, I'm not in a safe spot though. So I'll uh, wait a moment to put those on. Oh, look! It is a mighty Eva Currents. Look at it go. I shall get that one and that one only! See, now. Damn, you guys, you're on alpacas. What the fuck? The Imperials are invading! <laughs> oh, never mind, they're not here. <laughs> yeah, Miska Muska Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I can hear the winds now. Oh my god, I can hear the winds. Oh my god! I woke. Well, the Matt stills herself for the ride to find your next trading partner. Before we get moving, you should be the one to hold this. <laughs> yes, my pockets are great for this. With that, I suppose we should hop on the Apaka's Marbler has so kindly provided. I like this middle one. 
Ready to go? Let's mount up. Yeah! Yeah! And it's off to the main field we go! Yeah! <laughs> please don't spit, please don't spit, please don't spit! <laughs> You'll be fine. These ones are accustomed to people. I still don't trust them. <laughs> you have a knack for riding, no matter what you say. Without our pack of friends, we probably would never have become traveling merchants. Can you imagine walking all the way across Toro? Look at this place, man. I swear that mountain is too tall to be real. Again, glad it's not foggy and raining. I'm really looking down the weather. Walker Zamo. Wasn't that its name? A foreboding sight, isn't it? Once I've never appreciated up close. It's fucking huge! Let's climb it! We've taken a long way around to get there. To the highlands belong to the Yaku. Huh. Yo, I'm getting good XP out of this. <laughs> Thank you, Yoshi. Summer Blue, you said you were learning about the pebbler profession. You don't care for ranch work? No, no, I love it. I love working with alpacas. But becoming a peddler has always been a dream of mine. It's just, I'm not sure I have the talent for it. I disagree! <laughs> if I can help you by the timing, timing saddle though, then it'd be proof that I can do this after all. In that case, you best get ready to be a merchant. Yes, you should be! Look, we're almost there. I believe in you, Madalu. I believe in you. Is that a yellow cacti? What the fuck? No, no cacti. The derpy ass little thing. There we go. Oh, little current there too. Maybe I'll grab that one while I'm at it. That was me when I stood up for my stretches earlier. We made it, and we've had a single smelly incident. <laughs> I sent the alpacas back to uh, Ikuvlo, Ikuvlo's Inn. So we walk along, along the main road when we return to the village. Speaking of roads to travel, you were adopted by the Dawn Servant, weren't you? Third promise? <laughs> that I was. Then perhaps you understand. I was an orphan too, you see. Topley took me in. He took in all the ranch hands, actually. All of them? Yo, Topley a god? Topley that D? That dude? Not that dude. <laughs> Topley that, that dude? Yes, and everyone works hard at their chores. Grateful for the opportunity to go repay the head uh, ledger's generosity. Yet here I am, the only one wanting to go off and be a merchant. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm telling you this. We need to keep trading things for your saddle if you're to prepare for the feet of gold. As it's made to har harvesting season, they can't have too many quality hatchets. And that's a weekly amount away with people, and we should have no trouble making a favorable deal. Let's make Palua herself over there. Pass the hatchet to the third promise, and let's get to bargaining. Well, oh, here you go. Good luck. You got this, Wook. I believe in you, Wook! I believe! I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I... I believe! I believe I'm a believer. You have that little axe for me. Yep, here you go. Have fun with the little axe. See how this goes. Come on, Wook. You got this! Thanks. Now let's see what we can get for it. You're Miplu, the owner of these fields. I have a mind to trade if you're interested. Well, well, the third promise. I might be convinced to entertain a proposal. What do you have on offer? This hatchet, forged by a seasoned artisan. The razor edge of this exceptional tool will make light work of your crops. Hmm, the quality is acceptable, I suppose. I'll offer you a large sack of mate leaves in exchange. Hmm. A sack of mate leaves is valued at one pell in the thousands column. The same price as the hatchet. This deal would bring us no closer to the mezcal. Hmm. But can we sell those leaves somewhere better though? If I may, Mistress Minplu, it's harvesting season, is it not? Does the, uh, does the demand for hatchets afford, uh, afford them a higher value? It is indeed the season, which is why you procured an ample bunch of tools well in advance. Oh, uh, well. We missed the window for demand. In that case, we'll have to fall back on our connections. Think of it this way. A generous deal here will put you in the third promise's good graces. Surely that's worthy of consideration. 
I do not wish to give offense, but I must tell you that I stand with the second promise. Ah! You fool! You fool! These innovations will improve every aspect of our lives. I believe including farming, and I will no longer have need of hatchets. I assure you that I have nothing but respect for Wook. This is why I'm prepared to purchase a spare hatchet at a fair price. But I suppose it is fair given your reasons, but we oh we oh <laughs> we ourselves will be no better off for the transaction. How about this then? If we were to help bring in your harvest, would you give us a better deal? As a matter of fact I would! Until Connor's reforms come about, I can always use my hands in the fields. Then you can go ahead and add our labor to the bargain. Nice! Good moves! Added value to tip the scales? I could have not forgotten one of the most basic rules of trading. Don't worry. I couldn't sell fish. To people that will deprive the fish. <laughs> you can rest here if you like, Mabu. Lord and I have meat together. Yeah! Harvest time! Let's go! Oh no, I'm helping too. Off to the fields then, and mind you pick the healthy leaves. I'll take five good bundles from each of you. Sounds good to me, let's get some harvesting. Come on, 14 harvest simulator, but the good version, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I realized I can mount. That's cool. <laughs> I like my running! I like my walking! Like in every way possible I should be like, yeah man, I definitely should mount, it's quicker, blah blah blah. I'm like, no, I, just, I like walking. I like my feet on the ground. There we go, I got one. There we go, I'm moving, I'm moving. If this was Alice, she'd be like, alright, time for a competition! Lord, let's see if you can get the most mate leaves in three minutes. Very competitive relationship, that. Oh, it's so cozy, though. It's so cozy, and it, like, it makes me tired, and then it makes me awake, then it makes me tired, then it makes me awake. Like, it's so, like, in there. It's a mess of my mood, man. It's a mess of my energy. Uh, thank you. Give me this. I'll take this for the goods. There we go. That is five harvest. Ah, ah, ah. Here you are. You bought me some leaves then? Yep. Boom. There's my five. Now we can go on an early break. <laughs> an acceptable harvest. We'll see how your companions fared before I make any decisions though. Come on, I believe in them. Come on, come on! More than five. Get more than five. Absolutely excel. Here, we bought our share as well. Thank you for the promise. This is more than enough to hold up your end of the bargain. Now it's time to undermine. After adding the value of your labor to the price of the hatchet, I'm prepared to offer you a full sack of our highest grade meat leaves. Premium, mate! Bought at the shop! <laughs> One sack of those leaves will cost no less than five pell in the thousands column! Oof, that's, a, that's, that's up there, yeah! Then you can bid farewell to this hatchet. Hatchet? Fucking hatchet. Hatchet! I'll give it a good home. Talk of the contest aside, I'm glad we could come to a mutually agreeable trade. As am I. All the best with the rest of your harvest. See ya! Look at the grass movements. I love them. I didn't think I would love them, but I love them. It's such a little thing, but I love them. No. Oh. Hmm. Malu, what's wrong? It's as I was saying before. Even after everything Tobil's done for me, I'm planning to abandon it all and become a merchant. But then I needed your help after forgetting a basic rule of trade. How can I expect to be able to accept my decision then? Have you mentioned you? So you intend to give up? You fool! Do you plan to put it all to the side, crush your dreams, and turn into? Ah. <laughs> uh. 
Mr. Tobalone. Tobal. Tobalone. It's a good name. Tobal. Tobalone. Just kind of change the wording around a little bit and you get it. Well, I thought that was blood up there for a moment there. And I was like, damn, what is going on down here? Have you mentioned your plans to leave? Ah, uh, have you? Have you? Have you? Oh, I'll bet you haven't. Not exactly. I wanted to prove I could succeed as a peddler before I declared my intentions. I seek to follow in my father's footsteps, but not because he expects it of me. But I want to preserve Terrell's peace, and becoming Torn Servant happens to be the best way to do it. Yeah, Tobel, Tobleron. Tobel, Tobleron. It, it's the, uh, l d d d d after. Tobel, Tobley, 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 Tobley. Doubly, doubly. You just have a life of your own choosing, and I wouldn't be surprised if Doubly had the same had the same opinion. So talk to him. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Doubly will have more than me. Like, yeah, you do. You do what you want to make me happy. Like, I'm sure that's what he wants. You. You're right. It's better to find out for sure than worry about what he might say. Thank you for in advance. Thank you for the advice. Fucking hell. Too cozy. It's going blur, like my brain is reading it and then my mouth is doing something else. But first, we have a saddle to buy. I want that success under my belt so I can be sure of my decision. What's next then? We try to trade our tea leaves for something halfway to 10,000 bell? No, I feel me close enough now. Let's say we go straight for the premium mescal. Straight to it, huh? Bargain our way to double the value, huh? Think you can do it? Trust me, I will make this trade work. I admire you, Third Promise. That you're holding your own against such a strong competition for the throne is inspiring. While hungry and smelling like shit. Um, am I really holding my own against Quan and Zorja? <laughs> I mean, of course I am. <laughs> I'm walking out of the door's prom promise after all. Hmm. <laughs> Lord Bread will remember that. <laughs> hmm. Boom. Nice. Got it stacking. We're almost there. We're almost there. That mezcal probably tastes like ass. I mean, I believe that'll taste good. These merchants are selling high quality stuff, like legitimately high quality stuff, so I'd like to think that it, it's not ass. I've never been one to take it slow. Once I have a goal in mind, it's full speed ahead. That's who I am. My blue, I respect that. I respect that. I do that and then I run out of breath in two seconds, but don't worry, I respect that. <laughs> a premium deal! Well, the monsters are eye on a jog, a premium mezcal. Before we go, let me give you the mate leaves. I don't need to risk proving Erevel's point. How fucking where am I gonna store the leaves? Like bonus and hatchets and shit, but leaves? Ready then? The next stop is the Mescal Distillery. Alright, let's go. Oh, I think it's slowly starting to fall down. Are we gonna be approaching nighttime soon? I feel like I've been daytime in fucking forever though. It's crazy. Oh, we got a little, a little, a little, we got our first, I mean, not our first because we got all them, but this is very in that area. Like Yo, not the fuck off. Oh my God, look at it run. No. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck is it doing? Yo, look at it go. It's in the stanky leg. What the fuck are you doing? No. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Stop shaking that leg at me. I don't know if you're gonna stop throwing stuff at me, peeing on me. I don't know what you're gonna do with that leg. Where are we going to? All the way. Oh, I could have just teleported. Much as I enjoy walking around this joint, but I will take the teleport. So the back from that was low fit. I don't think I did. Maybe I did and it just didn't like do much about it. <laughs> Then maybe I did, I'm just like, alright. I don't know. You've had enough. We want to speak with an M by the- by- of Goldbill? 
Even among his fellow distillers, he's regarded as a master of the craft. He knows the value of his product, so if we're to convince him to trade for twice what the leaves are worth, we're gonna need targeted information. Oh, we gotta ask around, huh? Not like we don't know how to do that. It's a nice outfit. If I could talk to people here in the distillery, Lord, perhaps Wook uh, Wo could do the same at the village entrance. Meanwhile, I'd head to the north side and see what I can learn. Mablu is a true... No, they could just be observing, but they're fully in it. I appreciate you, Mablu. You're the best. Right, BB. Me, I'm a chef from Tullyol. I have to come here to buy Gabriel's Mezcal. The finest in Toronto, according to my customers. He'll always bring out a joke during our dealings, but I can't handle the stuff too well myself. I take small sips. Not wanting to be impolite, you understand, but still end up so adult as to agree to whatever price he quotes me. It'd be nice to have uh, less uh, potent refreshments during such conversations. I also might have to seriously reconsider our arrangement. <laughs> Fair enough, buddy. Fair enough. Uh, there's not much I could say about Gobble, but I can tell you what gobble has been saying. The other day, he was muttering about monsters prowling around a gave jaws. That's the field where they gather ingredients for the Mezco. Okay. Okay. Clear the monsters. That seems like a pretty good value of label work right there. The pro- Oh, no. <laughs> I know. Big fucking hamster, mouse, chipmunk, rat, can- With a ball on the end? Just- <laughs> I wonder where they got that from. God damn. But it's hard to celebrate when it affects the words that it does. Can't rightly bring joy to people if you can't keep making the things they love. Yeah. So where the fuck is Kingdom Hearts for? <laughs> you wanna bring me joy, Squid? You wanna, you wanna sell me joy? Where is it? Where is it if you wanna sell it? Where's Missing Link? I'll take that at this point. Probably might be a deft hand at distilling, but he's got no sense when it comes to appearances. Missing Link was the most cursed name it could name it, by the way. The absolute worst name. Rumor has it he's been invited to the palace for business negotiations. If he presents himself to the court wearing his usual rumbled attire, though, well, he'll be laughed at as some perch. Okay, we got some negotiations going on. We got some little monsters running around where they get the ingredients. Okay. 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 What time is it? <laughs> Almost 4 a.m. Well, 3.43. 15 minutes to 4 a.m. Alright. My blue. So, what did you find out? Okay, we can make use of all those tidbits. The deal is as good as sealed. As for me, I found out where Gobbly is working. There's a mill millstone at the top of the slot behind the distillery. You can go in ahead and I'll bring Wooklam up. Yo. Let's get this deal! Gobbly! Gobbly, gobbly. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> Poor man, he's got turkey noises coming his way when I'm trying to make a deal with him. Maybe this is why the fish didn't work. Wait, that's not funny. What are you doing to it? <laughs> it should not be chained up in a fucking dark ass lit room walking in circles. Look at it go. She's doing great, girl. Just a bit longer and you can rest. Okay, all right. <laughs> Skrrr, come on, I'll help you. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I run through it. I don't have the power. I... Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> the dog became magical in this room. Never mind. This room is fucking crazy. Damn. You have business with me, sir. Why don't we talk down below so not to distract the alpaca from his work? Oh, shit. Alright. Time to play that trade game. <sighs> so you want it for free? <laughs> <laughs> I will give you one button. Uh, we're missing someone. Up oh, there. Now, what's this about? Keep it brief, if you want. I'm a busy man. We're in the market for a three-year-old jug, <laughs> jug of premium mezcal. Assuming you have any on hand, that is. 
Ah, oh, an excellent choice. I must warn you, though, it doesn't come cheap. We don't have pearl, but we can offer a sack of mate leaves in exchange. It's top grade stuff like the mezcal. No deal. Mate leaves are well and good, but I don't have any use for them. What the fuck am I gonna do with those leaves? I fucking make drinks that don't require leaves. Think I'm gonna fucking put lemons in this shit? <laughs> no deal? Just like that? Still, I hate to send you away empty handed. Why don't we sit in shadow while over a cup of mezcal? Hmm. We're in. Bum bum. Now the real bargaining begins. Which of our cards do you want to play first? Hmm. The monsters! Your ingredients. You can get to them faster. Let's hold on to that one. Alright, fuck you then. Right, fucking no, we, don't, we don't get a choice. Alright, that one then. Fuck you then. That one. Like, if I can't, I'll be like... <laughs> Don't give me the option if I can't do any of them! Yo, fake. 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 Fake choice. <laughs> I appreciate your hospitality, but I'm afraid I can't hold my drink. I've heard one of your regular customers, a hobby god chef, is the same. Like, I, 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 I feel like approaching with yo, I know you got a monster problem, so you have issue actually creating your products. So what if I deal with that? I feel like that's a pretty strong opener, you know? Like, yo, your mon those monsters aren't getting in the way no more. Like, that, like that, 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 I feel like that's a, that's a pretty strong bargaining chip right there. Like, yo, 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 you can make more, you can get it easily, no sh less stress, produce more, make more money. So, like, you get, yeah, you, you, you win from that, you know? You win from that alone. Seeing as not everyone can enjoy Mezco, I wonder if you might benefit from having other refreshments to offer. Something like mate tea, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> Got him now. <laughs> this is why you're going to use those down. You're going to make some green. <laughs> you're going to make something like some green tea. <laughs> oh. oh, you're right. Absolutely right. I noticed a growing reluctance on the part of my hobbies or friend. I did not realize I myself was to blame. I must endeavor to be a better host. Still, even with that added value in mind, no sack of leaves is worth the mezcal you're after. Well, I mean, we've just told you one problem, and like, that's one you can fix by yourself, really, so. But, I mean, kind of, I don't know, you can sort those cheaper trades out, but no, it's fine, we can sort this out. Shall we offer the call the monsters, calling them, causing them trouble? Not yet. Yeah. Let me tell him these monsters. <laughs> you feel me? Oh fucking! I don't. Ma ma Mabu's cooking. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't think that they're not cooking. But I, Lord Bread, look at him. He's just. He's just wants to scream. There's monsters. <laughs> you know, he's, he's holding it in. Look at his stance. He's hold on. Just like <laughs> that man. Wants to scream about them. As I expect you're aware, the Rite of Succession is currently taking place. That's where the third promise has graced us with her presence. When the contest is decided, the subsequent extension ceremony and banquet will be a prestigious affair. If your mezcal was to be served there, it would bring you to stellar immeasurable, immeasurable fame. Wait, could it be that your rumored invitation to the palace is to discuss that very possibility? As a matter of fact, yes, I must admit. I'm still reeling from the abruptness of it all. It'd be a great honor and opportunity if I could secure the deal. Ah. Well, I should think your exceptional mezco would speak for itself. That said, there's no such thing as being too prepared. And first impressions last. You want to be wearing your very best when you walk into... <laughs> It'd be a shame to miss this chance of a lifetime sub simply for want, uh, for want of proper garments. What do you mean? What's wrong with it? <laughs> Is it not red enough? That I would. Are you saying you have garments to offer? Some an idea for court. We have no garments on hand, I'm afraid, but we can provide you with the next best thing. An introduction to a weaver. His name is Bolnock, and his works are highly regarded in Toriol. 
Oh. Damn. She just played Exodia. As a supporter of Will and keen observer of palace politics, he would doubtless be happy to guide you in the selection of an outfit to fit this golden occasion. Man's just gonna walk out looking like a golden fucking trophy. <laughs> I'm ready! And he just looks like then they just look like a golden statue. That is certainly a tempting proposal, and one of which I should like to take full advantage. But the scales still aren't quite balancing. The monsters! <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll move them aside. <laughs> Bubble, fucking move aside. Alright, that's it. You got this monster prop. <laughs> Say, weren't those monsters running a market that gave Jaws? That's a problem we could easily, easily solve for you. Truly? I'll be most grateful for your immediate assistance. I was designed to hire me cell swords that could clear them out. Factoring that saved expense and an introduction to a trusted weaver, this is shaping up to be a sound bargain. Alright, you have a deal! We got it. We got it! Yes, I knew you'd come around. Give us a moment and Lord and I will take care of those prowling nuisances. In the meantime, I'll use the time to pen an introductory letter to Bolnu. And a letter? Now just bring his ass all the way up here. Hello, this is him. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. The fields you're looking for are just north of Wachapello. Be safe. Alright, cool. Come on, let's go beat some ass. Let's go get confused more by the, the, the very small samurai changes that they've made. They got rid of Shohatsu, man. Oh, man, the names are painful. The names are so painful. It's crazy how painful the names are. Like shit, like, like there was all the last one. There was like, oh, okay, we're gonna make this new place, and then we're gonna absolutely fill it with different culture. And with that different culture, we can put the most. We can just smash our face on a keyboard, and it will come up with a name, and it'll be okay. We can do that. I'm like, I'll oh, fucking bet. There you go, buddy. I'll pay for. Oh, there you go. Happy, happy, happy birthday. <laughs> you have been paid for, good squire. <laughs> that fucking They're tough. They are just oh fucking watch you bellow. So they're absolute goddamn what what the fuck is this? Jabayoku like You know, it started off so simple with Terrell. You know? You know, it started so simple. There was like, oh the city of Terrell, like, oh okay, yeah, Terrell, yeah, that's nice. Nice, you get there. Well, actually, it's fucking Tuliolo, and then you got fucking all this type of shit, and then Quaka Waka, and fucking what's this up here? Oh, oh Aruna Kana, Aruna Sansa. At least you got Sibylus Coffee Grounds. Just like yeah, that it works. Good, good luck now. Now voice act it. <laughs> they get them in the studio, and they're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> uh, that should be a Gabe George, just over there. This will go faster if you spit up. Come and find me once you finish clearing out your share of the pests. Another hunt mission woke. Right, night theme. In the night springs. Phew. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to come into your tent with my... Those fucking... <laughs> <laughs> they're, just, they're chilling, and I'm like, yo! <laughs> Freaking, don't want to interrupt your uh, sitting time there. You know. Boom! Yo, they're breaking that sweat. Oh! Alright, cool. Nice to know this combo here does a little bit more damage now, too. With a uh, fucking the uh, the NP, the potency of that got raised. Does this have like a? Ooh, that's a nice animation. Gain foresight. What does that do? Wait. Grand stuns his foresight, increases kicker gauge by ten when hit. Restores HP when effect expires. This shit's pretty banger. That's banger. Uh, it's... 
Some skills, but you're a reaper now. You've left us. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna bust out the show on the next one. See if that's any different. Cause show her two don't exist no more. They just combined into show her one, basically. Fuck yeah, that's a new effects there. All right. Blair. <sighs> Sweet animations. Like his man like booted up and he was just here with fucking question mark and he was like, "Sure, her thought doesn't exist." I'm like, damn. Damn what? You bludgeoned the hell out of them. Also, again, that fucking, I love the look of her weapon so much. Compared to the creatures I hunted with Papa, this was no challenge at all. Come on, let's head back to the distillery. All that's left is to give Mablu the sack of leaves so he could stick the steal the, uh, steal the deal. Uh, I have n class, maybe? I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> I thought Warrior was just sword, not the big axe, but... I keep, I keep wanting to say Barbarian, but this isn't fucking Baldur's Gate. Like, put bo like Barbarian and Axe together. What do I mean I'm a Barbarian? Um... Uh, I mean... Well, she's not a Viper, that's for sure. Oh shit! Ah! <laughs> fucking hell. Well, that wasn't a big drop. I could have died, especially because I'm in battle. Is it even Warrior? No. To be fair, I feel like I recall Warrior existed. Unless he got fucking. Well, maybe turns into something. I think maybe it might start a thing and it moves into something. Unless she's a tank? I don't. No, I think she was a DPS in the fucking thing, wasn't she? I don't know. Oh, might be Maruda. Maruda seems to use axes. Might be. Judging by the icon, I, I don't know from any personal experience. Those monsters were no trouble for you, it seems. Now if I could just have the sack of leaves. Here you go! Don't steal them now. I'll give you these back for all your money! Thank you for looking after our precious trading goods. Yep, I looked after your precious trading goods. I went into battle with your goods, other than you holding it. Because you, you thought that would be better. Your monster problem has been resolved, Master Gobbly. Here are the mate leaves and a written introduction to B B Bull Nook as agreed. Oh. Then the deal is done. Here, your jug of premium mezcal, aged three years. Please accept it with my compliments. And I bet Lizard Dude just had to fucking pick an alpaca up by its throat and like fucking you will be captured and it's like oh, and the alpaca was like alright Joe calm down All right, I'll get you and then fucking that's it and I'm out here running around like crazy yes we finally have the mezco great to work especially you Mablu you're the one that inspired me to come this far third promise but let's not celebrate until we have the saddle in hand Mablu is it you drive a hard bar bargain young peddler I look forward to doing business with you in the future. Ah! That's sweet. Thank you, but truth be told, I'm just a ranch hand for now. Should I ever become a proper merchant, though, I'll be back to strike more deals with you. Well, I'm not going to be here to do your fucking labor work each time. Yeah, exactly. Ma, 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 that's my community. I, I love we communicate on the same level. <laughs> yeah! Dun, 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 dun. Boom. And they'll be like, now I want two premium mezcals aged five years. <laughs> I'm like, you bitch. Oh, wait. Oh, I was already ahead of myself. I have to talk to you first. Yo, come on. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. We got some more die to play with. Even at the palace, I don't think I held the 10,000 pound jug of anything before. My hands won't stop shaking. Here, you better hold on to it, don't we get it? Fuck, what do you think I am to you? A fucking backpack? 
<laughs> do you think I'm just Mr. Holds Everything? What? What? Do you, what do you think I am? <laughs> I you. <laughs> That's the head down. You carry it. No, you carry it. No, you carry it. No, <laughs> you carry it. <laughs> Fucking staring contest. Whoever blinks first gotta carry it. Oh shit, I blinked. Shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm lost. <laughs> shit. Fuck, gave me a dead ass stare. <laughs> Damn. Alright, fine, you win. But next time. Oh, grabbed it from your abs. Well, <laughs> can you imagine if we dropped in that start all over again? Can you imagine if you never became a fucking merchant? Hmm? <laughs> could, could you imagine that? Huh? Yeah, same feeling. Luckily, Holly's place is not far. We just needed to head across the plaza. I'm sorry, Mabla, that was uncalled for. I apologize, you're a great person. Mabla, please, Mabla, please. It's like Lord Bread was a silent protag. <laughs> you can't deal with this. Fuck it! I'm there thinking I'm going up the damn stairs. <laughs> There's a wall there. Fucking. You got a little bit too much of that mask all. This is it. The train we've been working towards. Yeah. Here it is! The free year premium mezcal! Eagle. Oh no, wait, yo, hold on, this is my trade! Fuck off! <laughs> Here, still in one piece. Wait, time to make a deal. The my trade. Oh, you missed the favoritism. Get your tools ready, Saddler. We bought your precious mezcal. Uh huh. That's right, be amazed. Wait, you actually got your hands on a jug? But you had nothing. A few measly clumps of wool. What we had was an aspiring trader with a gift for negotiation. Oh. Hi. <laughs> God, I can't be dealing with this man. I can just stand in there as the camera swoops by. <laughs> I'm here too. Although I'd sooner eat no claimant but Zoro Jiao, I cannot go against the guiding principles of the Palapool. Palapool. This trade is a fair one. I will craft your saddle. Third promise. <laughs> Great. Stay and wait if you like. I have all the requisite materials, so this won't take long. Damn. What a bitch. What a bitch. <laughs> High fives? <laughs> no hugs? Your commission is ready. Catching a wild apaca is never a simple affair. Fucking hell, I've still gotta do that, don't I? <laughs> God damn. Now, if you don't mind, I have other work that needs finishing. Ah, oh, I can taste that smooth mess color already. I poisoned it, you bitch. <laughs> Yahoo! We did it, the saddle is ours! And the thing we started out with only a hundred pale basket of hackle wool! Malba, you're gonna be an incredible merchant! Thank you, it makes me so glad to hear you say that, third promise. We got what we came for, so let's return to the ranch. The others will be waiting. Because he's going to be there fucking having the time of a life of an alpaca. Alright, send me. Book Lamar in the saddle. In the saddle. Get her ass over there. For him! Hit the 4 a.m. mark, 5 hours 23. Kill. Cool. Love that. Oh shit, I'm going stiff again. My back! Don't fucking word that weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> don't fucking. Uh, yeah, I said that when I arrived, that he gave me, um, Besaid vibes. Like when I arrived here, yeah, I was like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> it might be it might be me clutching at straws in in hopes of anything gives me Final Fantasy X vibes, but damn, this is like Besaid. 
Oh, man. I mean, it has X2. Uh, X2 with that with the tribe. I believe they're more X2 than X. At least that's how I mentally clock them anyway. Um, nine wise, has been any references? Um, I mean, we know there's a location that's named after one of the moves of nine, so that's, you know, I mean, we haven't seen it, obviously, but, uh, have we seen any nine just yet, really? Um, don't really think so that I've clocked. It gives me nine vibes, though. In weird ways. In weird ways. Don't know how. But it may just be Wook's charm and going from what was N Walker and how people kind of communicated and that whole stuff. And then we go to this, which is so much more chill. And obviously, they're having a lot more fun with it. And we got Wook as a character, which is an absolute queen. So, yeah. And then you put that in with the cozy vibes. Like, feels, yeah, like a more, I feel like a more... I mean, outside the fact that if the wrong person wins this, and then they will literally go after war and then try to... do Who knows how far that would go. So, I mean, that's kind of a big deal in stopping that. But in terms of what we've gone through in the past, it's pretty tame. So, yeah. So, I, I really can't really just pinpoint it. It's just, it just feels cozy and, like, I'm, I'm not... I'm here trying to save the fucking world. And also not being the main character. We need to be how we do... <laughs> I prefer our version. We just drop Elmo in and call it a day. <laughs> uh, throw Biden, yeah. Fucking throw Biden and Trump in this fucking thing, yeah. All right, go, <laughs> go capture an alpaca. <laughs> Work the trade business, do all that. Now that would be an entertaining watch. Fucking, you can strip put, put it on MTV. <laughs> MTV, all the news channels, all across there. God damn. But <laughs> he go for an alpaca, but he'll come back with like a fucking. Oh my god, he'd come back with like a fucking husky. <laughs> you get a husky from the shop, he's like, I got one! <laughs> like, no, Biden, that, that's, that's not an alpaca. That's a husky. <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, yeah, because he calls me the wrong name. <laughs> Yo. Honestly, <laughs> Biden in an alpha no one has a safe situation. <laughs> oh, fuck. But no, then, they'll, they'll pull fucking alpha no Zeno. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so fucking. Who goddamn knows? Who goddamn knows? But it'd be funny. It'd be more, it'd be more interesting than them just yelling at each other on a debate thing. Be like, you, you are a loser, this isn't that. I'm like, oh, come on. Let's have some fun with it now. Let's let's play a, I don't know, let's play laser tag. <laughs> I know, they got them all seen talking about golf. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy out there. You know, I said, they can play laser. You know, dude, in a game of golf, you know, they were so heated about golf that they'd be more happy about proving that the one's better than golf than actually becoming fucking president. It's, it's, it's mad. It's funny though, but goddamn. Ah. Uh, you've acquired the saddle then? Yes, and thanks in no small part to Mablu. Before you rush off to catch an alpaca though, let me teach you how to saddle one. I'll bring one of our wild born friends so you can practice. I know, I know. This is something I need to learn. Oh boy. Here we go. <sighs> Round three! Come on! You got this, whoa. Looking out the dirty old window. <laughs> That's what it sounds like with the. 
I still hear you. Oh. Done? She done it? Great sunken gods, I did it! Yeah! That's my door! That's my third promise! Yali seemed bothered, much less inclined to spit, as if he was completely accepting of Wuklamat's touch. That's because of the singular scent with which the saddle has been coated. Alpacas find it very soothing. Yo, why did that attempt to have to have one of the hardest goddamn photos of all times with the flag in the back and his fist up? That's crazy. Like, one of the hardest fucking photos ever that will be in history books forever. It's crazy. You know, I've never taken a good long look at one of you before, but... You're actually kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So, Ja, he's back. Oh. What the fuck? What? <laughs> why, why do you have some golden rare species? Fucking alpaca. Who did exactly what he set out to do? He had the lemonade that you guys have. That alpaca he's bought, is it just me or is it glowing? I've heard tales of such a beast. They say the golden alpaca lives a solitary existence deep in the valley, where it shuns the company of both men and its own kind. My god. Fucking hell. It's not saddled though. I mean, to be fair, I guess I didn't have to. That wasn't a requirement. How did he manage to stare a prize like that? A beast knows his betters. Faced with overwhelming strength, it will yield rather than risk death. An apt illustration of how greatly the power of the first promise exceeds yours, Wuglamat. Well, fuck you, you fucking beady-eyed. How about you try and look straight? You fucking can't. You look inside to side like a goddamn fucking dinosaur. Look at you. Can't look straight. Yeah, fucking. Strength alone won't win him on our father's throne. I'll be the one to find the Golden City, and then Terrell can remain at peace. <laughs> An everlasting desire for peace can only be forged in the fires of war. Yeah, man's talking now. To unite as one, the people must be taught. They must suffer the horror and the hopelessness firsthand. All right, Zorel, calm yourself now. Exhaustion from prolonged conflict. The witch is a war of merciless nature. These are what moved the clans to join in the foundings of Tully all those years ago. Consider the younger generation of this village. Since birth have they passed in unbroken harmony, and behold, they regard war not as tragedy, but opportunity. Thus does a resilient son seek to provide education. He offers much fucking hell, hell of an edu education. Look, you learn now! Your friends are dead! Fuck you now. Fire! Boom! Boom! See, now you know. Oof. It is true that war's misery breeds a longing for peace. Get him, Alphano, get him. This is your this is your territory. But I have seen in my own eyes what becomes of an empire forged through the violence you propose, the rebellions it spawned, and the ruins it left behind. Yeah, what he said. The Guardian Empire was a congregation of simpletons. The oppressed fought back against the oppressors. As well they should. This track could very good. Men are not beasts. <laughs> Men are not beasts, they're food. Only a fool would seek to rule over with the threat of force alone. This is why Gulu Jaja did not elevate the Mamulja. Why he treated all clans with equal respect. However, the first promise has his gaze fixed upon more distant horizons. He would unite not only Tulio, but the star in its entirety. What? Why? I need not explain myself to you. Damn. Fucking... They got the staring down for everyone. Whoa! Oh, well done. Well done indeed. 
The first promise has completed the feat of gold with an appropriately golden flourish. May I present to you your much deserved keystone? He's breaking up the tension. Oh shit, absolutely not! <laughs> Get that button out of my goddamn face. Absolutely not. Can we hit him now or later? He's always been like that. Never sharing his innermost thoughts with me or even with Kona. Kona. It's like we're not even family. Damn. Fucking. What the fuck? Hi. <laughs> God damn. Are you just keeping this fella? You're not even. You this sleepy baby? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> you took a picture with it? Try to see its face. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see its face. I want to see its face. Have they? Oh! This is, this is different, right? Right? This, this. Action. Oh, shit. I didn't see that. <laughs> 96. <laughs> hey, we got new moves. Okay. Didn't know that one. I ain't got the buttons for all that shit. Well, that's a better layout than what it was before. I'm just trying to... See if I could see its face. Okay, never mind. Right, it's not sleeping anymore. It's dead. Hell yeah, four guys. I'd love to see it. Well, you got? I don't mean to murder the baby. It is so cute. It is very cute. Honestly, look, it's alive. See, it's alive. God, I, 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 I feel like you drop like good shit. You know, <laughs> like you're the type of shit that like shows up in a random battle encounter and is like. You have 1% chance to hit it. And then, when you hit it... <laughs> little body coming to frame here. Hello. How you doing? Fuck <laughs> you. I'm talking to this guy. He's like, hey. <laughs> What's good? <laughs> What's good? I'm like, he'll show up. And I'll be like, alright, cool. I'll hit it. Bam. And then he'll fucking give me the good shit. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why now? Is, is this your alpaca or is the one just chilling here? Oh, huh. yeah, chilling. All right. So much of our star has begun to embrace reconciliation and rebuild. And this would be Warlord, which forced us all back into turmoil. We cannot allow it to happen. Yeah, well, well we're back to saving the world again. <laughs> Suraja is willing to go to war for his twisted vision of peace. But should he achieve this peace, then what? Answers! What kind of idiot thinks the world can be united with war? Even most Guardians have since realized that their conquests were a mistake. A golden alpaca in the flesh. Like the golden city, I fought them as children's tale. Maybe it does golden- Does it do golden poops? Yo, we can sell that shit. We can trade that shit. Yo, Mobu, keep an eye on that one. That one's gonna do golden shits, and like you can sell that. I don't know who's gonna buy golden shits, but then like you can you could get them, and then you can fucking sell them, and then you can make them. Mobu, golden shits. <laughs> golden shits, Malfo. Crazy. I'll ponder Zara Jell and his mysteries later. Right now, I need to think about finishing the feet of gold. I'll have my saddle. I practice how to use it. So lead on to where the wild alpacas roam. The valley of Owen and Ka Ka uh, Kanka is northwest of here. Come on, everyone. Even if we can't enter ourselves, we can see Wilkoff on our hunt. Yeah! Oh, 
Oh, it's so nice. So pretty. We move. Where are we off to? All the way out there. Sounds good to me. Let's go! Oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh, I made it. Sick. It's kind of unneeded considering I could just go there, but hey oh. We off on a trip. Oh. Oh. Oh wait, it does. It does kind of. It does. It does react. <laughs> Hello. You <laughs> know. Okay, now I'm running out of liquids over here. Shit. Bob Mole! You look like the- Oh, fucking hell. You didn't even let me finish my sentence. Ah, <laughs> uh, the joys of having a day off and the, of the fact I had a nap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, five hours forty. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm trying to make do with it. You know, with the day off that I have, I'm like sick. I can really use to get down and comfort. You know. So yeah, no talk must that didn't let me finish myself. I was gonna say it looks like the a fucking like. A mutant version of like the, the, the fucking little dinosaur shit. That, no, it's trying to throw hands. Where are you going? You been going anywhere? You're just walking on the spot. You're probably just walking on the spot. Oh, that's pretty. I know. Ugh. Police. That means at this hour, you have this gorgeous face to look at. <laughs> I can do this. I know I can. I believe in you, what? Cheer on, okay, I'll got you. I got you. I will cheer. I will cheer. I believe in you! Oh, look, I'll click on you. Look. Look. Oh, look. You! This person right here! I believe- Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Hold on, you didn't let me finish my fucking chair, dude. You didn't let me finish it. Hold on. <laughs> she did not- She did not appreciate the poke. Alright, fine. I wonder if she says that to everything. And <laughs> like this. <laughs> Just. <laughs> and then you get him around like this. And then you swoop around the apaca. And then you put it on and boom, catch it. Like that. <laughs> I'm giving I'm giving advice of how to do it <laughs> with these movements. <laughs> Alright, fine. Yeah, go on. Hey! Oh my god, that's my voice. <laughs> Hey, hey! Ugh. I hear him once every five months. Thanks. I'll need it. Go on, what? Get him! Truth be told, still not sure about alpacas. I'd rather not go near one if I can help it. But if I'm to rule this nation, then I'll need to learn how to live with them. Tural is their home, too. Right. I'm off. Lord's just the grunter. You're going the wrong way! <laughs> There's some over there! So, shall we head back to the ranch, or...? I'm staying here! As will I. Wuklamart is alone in this. <laughs> the least we can do is stand watch and await her return. Alphano wants to go back and read a book. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It may be a while yet. Help me pitch the tent. A tent? <laughs> That's crazy. A tent? That's mad. Damn. Absolutely no faith. <laughs> oh, campfire, 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 campfire with the lighting! Campfire with the lighting! 
trust a gleaner to come prepared for anything. What's a gleaner? Someone whose job it is to travel the world and procure uncommon things for their employers. Erinville specializes in finding animals, I believe. But aren't you a Shaitona from Shaktural? <coughs> Why did you cross the salt? When I was much younger, the thought of leaving Tural never even occurred to me. But then, some years ago, my mentor tasked me with a difficult hunt. Something I could never find, she said, so long as I clung to the familiar. She suggested that I leave home. Is that the fire you can see in his eye, or is that just the eyeball? As one of their number, I could experience the world, immerse myself in myriad cultures and customs, see the many faces of nature. And once I had learned what is truly important, I would find that which I seek. My younger self took those words to heart, and off I went to become a cleaner. Finally, we get to learn a bit more about Aaron. Words alone moved you to leave behind everything you'd ever known? You must have great respect for your mentor. As it happens, cleaner work was much to my liking. And I all but forgot why I had pursued it in the first place. Yet, events conspired to put me back on the trail I'd abandoned. Wait, are you saying you were tasked with finding this city of gold? I was, and though my hunt is now entangled with the right of succession, I mean to see it through. Well then, I understand completely. We all have our reasons for seeking the Golden City. Which is all the more reason for us to work together. <laughs> Just so. I adore campfire scenes. I absolutely adore. Always just beautiful. We got to learn a little bit more about Aaron and his motives and how he ended up here too. That's great. About time. She should have been back by now. What if something's happened to her? We need to tell Tobli and arrange a search party. Please tell me she comes back with a whole fucking like rally of them. Wait. Like captures eighty. 9,999 of the biggest one in the world. Oh, she's got one! <laughs> they did it. Good job, what? I'm surprised you just got the one, but you faced your fears and you conquered them. Don't know what she did to capture this thing. How many attempts? I'm, I need to see a blooper reel. You're utterly spent. In small wonder. <laughs> hey. Well done, <laughs> third promise. The ranch isn't going anywhere. Take a rest in the tent. I think I will. Thank you all for believing in me. That alpaca fucking kick the shit out of her. <laughs> Fall on vinyl boss territory. That little bitch right there. <laughs> that, freak, that, that, that dude is casting Ultima on her, I'm telling you. Ultima, fire, flare, holy, earthquake. The whole lot. I spoke too much. If Oglomat is up to it, we should be heading back to Tobli. Will Clement had no serious injuries to speak of. However, she had clearly been pushed to the very limits of her endurance. I need to see a blooper reel. <laughs> <laughs> Just, how many times did she get kicked in the mouth? Alphano was quick to lend a hand with dismantling the tent. Is this to be his obsession now that he's mastered collecting firewood? Alphano, the tent master, the camper extraordinaire! Hell yeah.
We were out here for quite some time, but I'm glad Whitlamot was able to catch your alpaca. And everyone choosing to share a story with us was a welcome surprise. I'm so relieved the third promise came back to us safely. I think our package you is a healthy looking beast. <laughs> Surely this will be enough to satisfy the feet of gold. Oof. Yeah, how many times did that alpaca get a raptor blue dye? Still can't believe you can't just preview them. Still can't believe that. He's like, damn, I'm getting a win here. Can I, can I have a look at least what I'm getting color wise, please? Thanks to Alf and all his healing hands, I can actually stand again. Maybe even walk. Why don't you just ride your fucking. <laughs> fucking. Hey. <laughs> fucking. Uh, mutant. <laughs> See, this is how I melt now in this game. <laughs> yeah. No, in the battle pool. Okay. I don't know, it was mine to rush ahead to the village. Oh, that looks like a happy little banner. Wuglamat still seems a bit unsteady on her feet. Hardly surprising after you spent the night chasing alpacas. You know what will melt away fatigue like magic, though? Mate tea! I'll run to the ranch and get a pot brewing. That way you can take your time and the tea will be ready when you arrive. We are alpaca. As Mabu so wisely suggested, we shall set a slower place for our exhausted third pro promise. Slower pace. I'll show you a slower goddamn pace. I'll show you that shit right now. You see this shit? You, you see? Oh, fucking hell's over there. <laughs> but, bam! <laughs> you guys can hide all you want. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take this route around. Ah, look at the grass. Oh, that's a good time. Very yeah, good time. It's almost at the six hours. <laughs> God damn. Came back ahead of the others, did you? I should hurry along with the tea. Then, Book Lamont can't be that far behind. Don't worry, you can't expect this much progress tomorrow. <laughs> Don't worry. God damn. <laughs> oh, that tea really is magical. I feel better already. I see you become more comfortable around our fuzzy friends. Watching this one taught me a lot about alpacas. What grasses and fruits they eat, what sounds they react to. They're adorable little quirks. I mean, I guess that's maybe why she took so long then. She was full on studying the, the alpaca. She wasn't just trying to grab them, girl. She was like full on nature observing. Old documentary over there. <laughs> I had present to you, Wooks. <laughs> documentary of how to capture an alpaca. <laughs> I guess I've gone quite a fun to them. That's development right there. Welcome back, Third Promise. Accomplished the feat of gold, have you? Hmm, <laughs> yes. There's no mistake in a valley alpaca. Fuck that golden one in the background. This one took more work. I commend you on your success. Well done. Yes, we did it! Although, I couldn't find a shiny one like Zadel Jad did. I'd be surprised if you had. Golden and alpacas are born, but once every few decades. They're elusive, solitary creatures that are rarely seen. Much less captured, thanks to innate physical magical gifts. So you got this rare ass creature out here, and you just got them standing in a goddamn place around buffoons. Like someone could snipe them, or kidnap them and sell them for all their trade. You should be in the business. Like, that is your strongest trade. Yo, man, I'm like. Sell this thing. <laughs> Only a single other person is known to have caught one before. That being the Gulu Jaja himself. Oh. Papa was chasing alpacas too. So my grandfather's story say. 
It was before the founding of Tuliola, in a time when the mountain giants, the Yaku, held our people in thrall. Compelled by their overlords, our forebearers would ride their Opaka mounts to the highlands to deliver gifts of food and other tributes. Those were wretched days to hear Grandfather tell it. Then along came the young Gulu Jaja, yet unburdened by the mantle of Dawn Servant. Our people were amazed by this imposing two headed figure, equal to the Yaku in stature and puzzled by his entourage of mismatched companions. Some trembled in fear, believing a new conqueror had come. I mean, yeah, if I saw that strolling up, I think he wants to steal my shit too, so. Yet, Gulu Jaja showed no such inclinations. He sat and spoke with us, sipping from the cups of mate tea we offered him, and grew somber when he learned of our plight. Oh, yeah! <laughs> no one could have anticipated that the visitor decided to do next. Gulu Jaja ascended the cliffs to face the giants and free the Papalu from the Yarkhead's subjugation. He then turned an appraising eye upon our riders and proposed we take to the road to peddle our beverages. The suggestion seemed obvious for one who travelled as he did, intent on fostering enmity between the clans. So it was that a few words from Gulu Jaja transformed us into a clan of internet merchants. Huh. I never heard the Bon Papa forge with the Papa who's spoken of in that way before. The saga was not so detailed. Then you may not know that Gulu Jaja saw the sure footed guide for his trek up into the highlands. Thus did he capture a golden alpaca. So both my brother and my father caught the rarest of creatures. While well, an ordinary one was the best I could manage. That feat required no more than more, more than that third promise. And you brought back a perfectly wonderful beast. My blue's right. You're a perfectly wonderful beast. If anyone's ordinary, it's me. Meh. Do you even make that noise? <laughs> I don't know what noise our packers make. <laughs> they just feel like it'd be very sheepish. Not only did you accomplish the feat of gold, you also made many trades and brought joy to many people in true Papalu fashion. I sorely doubt your sibling could have achieved the same result. You should be proud of the accomplishment which earned you your keystone. See, put your head up high. You did good. There you go. Is a rubber stamp. Keystone! One! So this is what they look like. Go on, set it on the tablet! We're one step there, what? We're one step there! A perfect fit. That leaves six more. You're well on your way, third promise. We'd have been lost without you, Mabalu. Mabalu. Thanks to you, I learned so much about the Pelo people and your customs. It might seem obvious, but I've come to realize the importance of properly knowing something. It was because I didn't understand our packers that I was uncomfortable around them. I'm thankful to you as well, Woklamat. You gave me the courage to say what I wasn't sure I could ever say. Oh, call the walk instead of third promise? Crazy. Tobli, I want to leave the ranch and become a merchant. I appreciate everything you've done for me and I've loved every moment caring for the alpacas. But this is something I need to do. I need to walk my own path and make my own trades. As your parent, allow me to say one thing. I've always tried to give my ward's lives filled with as much happiness as I could provide. Yet never once have I wanted that to be the only happiness you knew. You have my blessing to walk any path you choose, Mabalu. It gladdens me to hear you found a calling you wish to pursue with such passion. You will make an exceptional peddler, I'm sure of it. Aww, that's sweet. Yeah, that's sweet. Thank you, Tobli. 
What did I tell you, Mablu? You have stress over nothing. <laughs> There's only one last thing I can help you with, Third Promise. You need to find the Golden City, right? That's the end goal. Then I suggest you talk to Yakui. They once ruled over far more than just the Okopaka and the Pepelu. A thousand years ago, they were the overlords of Yaktaro and all of its peoples. During that era, the Palapelu were commanded to search for a city of gold. They scoured every corner of the continent, but never found any trace of that fabled place. But if they didn't find anything, what could the Yaki have to tell us? They may not have found it, but the fact that they fought to look for it all makes me curious. Perhaps there's value in delving how the legend originated. We lose nothing from asking the question. Besides, if we determine to follow the path of the saga, we'll be visiting the giants eventually. We're gonna climb a mountain! <laughs> Oh, Kral, I have a question I've been meaning to ask, and since we finished with the feet, when did you acquire that earring? My earring? Do you recognize it? Yes, pieces just like it first became fashionable in Yuck Terrell around 20 years ago. Since then, it's been common to wear one as a charm for safe travel. 20 years ago? Right about the time my grandfather made his journey. Yet the dawn servant implied the earring was connected to the Golden City in some way. Surely there was more to its significance than simple fashion. If you don't know how it first came to be crafted, I could try to find out. Seeing as it's a regular seller for many merchants, I'm curious to learn about it myself. I'd appreciate that very much. Thank you. Okay, good, okay. I was worried that we wasn't getting too much about Kryle and her and her and her journey here, her story, her wants, her needs. Ah, but okay, no, we're still we're still doing it. Alright. Jumping feet first into the peddler business, huh, my blue? <laughs> right then, let's head back to Toliala and get ready to search for the next elector. Farewell for now, and thanks for all your help. I will become Dawn Servant, so make sure you set aside your best mezco for the occasion. These branching ones are way longer than the um, twins branching ones was. She has a fearsome opponent in that brother of hers. He even bought a golden apaca to heal. But you've heard Sarah Jell supporters talk. They might see opportunity in his expedition, uh, expedition, expansionist ambitions. But they find the man himself intimidating, terrifying even. Whereas I've grown to love Rutlamart. Every everyone she meets will come to love to her too. And that's why she'll win the throne. The queen is too lovable! <laughs> you might be right, my blue. You might be right. One down! And number to go! But yeah, there's no way in hell I'll make it. <laughs> I'll do in this much progress, though, but sorry, so don't you worry. I'm not that I just zoom by, just boom. Bam! Don't you worry, there's, there's no way. There's no way. So, but I just, I was able to take advantage of my day off work and it being the first day. So I was like, right, let's do what we can do, you know? Get into it. Get, so, you can make more progress to the inside. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I mean, it's like tomorrow, I mean, if, because I mean, if anything, that branching is still going to take me a bit. If you've done 75%, you're still a good chunk ahead. So you're safe in that regard. And then tomorrow, if you can make it be a bit more, it'll be good. And then, like I said, since it's my normal... You need the cookie. Eat those damn cookies! Eat them! Eat them and enjoy them! And then, obviously, tomorrow. I can only imagine tomorrow being again, like, two to three hours anyway. Uh, so... Should be all good there, though. No? Should be all good. And you always have... Yeah! I mean, there's... Yeah. Literally that. Because... What do we have this week? Uh, let's see, we have obviously tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and that's it. And that's it. 
Like, uh, I mean, <laughs> and then, yeah, there's the, my vacation that's coming up as well, um, which is uh, so my last stream will be the first of August. Yeah, I think so. Anyway. Pretty sure the first of August will be like the last stream before the vacay. And then I'll be back on like the eleventh. Uh, uh, yeah, because I'll be gone that whole week. Then I'll do that Sunday. Yeah. So then I'll be back on like eleven fifty. What the fuck? <laughs> You fucking worried about goddamn lizard guy over there? That dude walking around shooting fucking machine shit everywhere. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn. What the fuck is it? What the f <laughs> Oh, I think they're racing. <laughs> Yo, they're all going up there. Crazy. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty dragon. But yeah. Uh, so we still have to go. I mean, it may be the unfortunate time that literally we get near the end and then I gotta go away for a week, so. So, it, it is, I'll use it. I can imagine you being finished by then, so. So, something like that beat. <sighs> but tomorrow, anyway, I wanna make, um. Because I think tomorrow. I wanna get working on the second, uh, Final Fantasy IX video anyway. Um, so that may differ on how, what time I get on and stuff anyway. Um, and shit. So, so I've got to do that still. I know that. Because I can't do, I can't do Dawn Trail until that. Project Cat is on my mind to play too. It's on my mind too because I really enjoyed that. <laughs> and I'll see what that chapter one business going on. I know that's only four hours. So again, it's also like, you know, I can... Do two hours, like two hours one day, Dawn Trail, then two hours one day, you know, something like that, or just put a day on if I if I if I join up if I find myself wanting to have a little break or something. But but yeah, I mean, but that's in no big rush. It's in no big rush. Um, but that, that's you know, it, it still stems from my RPG Maker Hunt. I found that, and we got to do that because it, it interests me. It's in fun. We got to try and burn things. <laughs> oh, plenty of stuff coming up. Plenty of stuff. Plenty of stuff. Plenty of stuff on goddamn route, which is very fun. We're gonna be trying to keep on top of it all, which I'm challenging myself to do here. So, and I can't put out a Dawn Trail part one until I do the nine, because I want to finish the nine project first, and then it's the rest of the one. I, I, one thing I wish I did, I wish I did fucking highlights for um, all the other ones. But, you know, you live and you learn. You know, you live and you goddamn learn. Feels good to have the feet of gold safely under our belt. Even if my victory pals besides Zoro John is shiny golden alpaca. I know I shouldn't let it bother me, and gods know you've all been so supportive, but I want to be strong or wise like my brothers. To be promised to be a promise that people respect. Well fuck you guys <laughs> Well, it's almost like people walk right through you, huh? It's almost like they don't respect you and they barely see you and they walk right through you, huh? It's crazy. <laughs> Which is not likely if I stand here carrying on about things. Let's move on. Back to Yaldev Tire with us. The contest has hardly begun. Very meaty uh, branch quest here. It's quite interesting. Right, let's go over there and let these... Get this final one ticked off and then we're going to call it. We will call it. I'm not going to start the second branch till tomorrow. No. I, I don't plan to finish the second video tomorrow. I'll be amazed if I do. Uh, but I plan to make a start. Because making a start is the hardest thing. Once it started, I'm, uh, it's being done. You know? Bam, bam, bam. Dun, 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 dun. It's like, I've done part one. And part one was like, all right. Da, da, da. Then bam. Yeah, maybe you get past like the first 10 minutes of trying to figure out what the fuck you're doing and then you're just alright. <laughs> Type V. So, once it starts, I'll be set. 
and I'll make sure I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not trying to bash this out the absolute fastest, so it's not like I'm doing six hour, five hour, five hour, blah, blah, blah. Like, I complete it when I finish it, you know? You know, I have, you know, play, obviously playing it on stream is going to make this longer than if I played it by myself anyway. You know, so, you know, I'm trying to, no point trying to speed through it. I get no. <laughs> Besides, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing after this song. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, who knows? But that, that, that's, that's a question for when we get to it. That's an idea, but. The, the, the all different types of shit. And just like that, we found an Elector and won our first keystone. I know it was right to trust your instincts. Come on, let's keep things moving and march onwards to Kazamuka. Bitch, my, 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 my stomach is hungry. <laughs> I don't know, yours will should be too. You know, asleep, you probably still smell like alpaca. Your, your stomach still needs food. I, I, damn. Well, complete when complete. Yeah, exactly. Chances are good we find Elector there as well. Before we do anything, however, we should see that your patient had a friend has to say. Bam! Almost level 91. Cool. Yeah, that is definitely it for tonight. Which is banger. I mean, we did about six hours, so... I'm gonna take that shit as a goddamn trophy.